Hello, everybody. Happy Monday to you all this beautiful Monday morning, uh, March 7th. Good afternoon, everybody. Coming at you, 2.06 p.m. Nice to breathe the weather out here in L.A. Sunny. Little chilly out there, 50 degrees. I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, welcome to the show. We're here. We're back. We got lots to talk about. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Got to thank uh, HelloFresh real fast here at the top. New season means new seasonal recipes. And now it's easier than ever. With fresh ingredients delivered to your door, HelloFresh brings the farmer's market to you. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code H3TV16 at HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16. Shout outs to HelloFresh. Look at these beautiful meals. Boom, real fast. Boom, show, bam, 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 boom, boom. Okay, thank you. Did they up their free meals again? Is it 16 free meals now? It's like every time they... they it's just going to keep up. Feed an army. It, They're like, we will be... feed the Ukrainian army. by you, If you use code H3TV. It's 14 pages! <laughs> <clears throat> guys have a good weekend? Yeah, it was good. <clears throat> yeah. AB, why did you hate Batman so much? I, it was fine. Like, I saw the movie. There's no spoilers, so don't worry. I liked it. My gripe with the Batman movie, by the way, the first movie I've seen in theater in, like, God, over two years. So that was kind of nice. I was falling asleep. And Maybe I was you were tired. Why I you got to blame the movie? Mm, I never sleep. I was really rooting for Robert Pattinson, too. I don't know. A lot of, I have a whole list, actually. I don't know if we want to get to it, but... Sure, I'll debate you. But before we do, guys, call in 808 Hot Meme. The haters, the haters call in was good, so I guess we welcome haters. Mm hmm Haters out there, let's talk. You know? Or maybe not, maybe you don't have to be a hater, but maybe you have a dissenting opinion about something uh, that we can talk about. You know? Um, my gripe with the Batman movie was just that it was PG-13. Like, I felt like they were consistently holding back. Because this was the Batman that was supposed to be gritty, you know, and dark and crazy. And Batman, he's a disturbed man. And I feel like they really, there was parts where he's just pummeling people's face and there was just no gore at all. And it's mm -hmm. like, come on. All right, Amy, get out your list here, Roger Ebert. Let's see what all you right. have to say. Let's start with the good. The acting was great. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the, <clears throat> I'm sorry. The, I literally, I just said, mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I like the Kurt Cobain vibes of uh, yeah. the movies. Uh, I like that most of the movie was at night, and this is like the first time we've seen a Batman movie that Gotham actually is a shithole. Like, they always talk about it in the other movies, but we don't really see it. In this movie, you're like, oh yeah, Gotham's a straight-up shithole. Maybe. I, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I like the idea of, like, uh, you know, just like Batman was fear and, you know, a lot of footsteps, and he actually instilled fear in people. Uh, and I like that it was like his first two years as Batman. I mm -hmm. thought those were some cool concepts. Mm -hmm. Now the bad. Starting right out the gate, the pacing was shit. The opening scene literally had me scared off the jump. Where like they're looking through the window and that, that just took forever. It, I thought it was looking at the Wayne family. This wait, wait, I don't want to do spoilers. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. This is the first. Uh, I mean, do you think that you're desensitized? Because you're like a huge Marvel fan. And those movies are like made no, for I kindergartners love, with attention spans of five seconds. I love the Dark Knight movies. Yeah, I do too. But they're more action, action-y. I mean, no. Okay, <laughs> you don't like the pacing. Okay, what else? I mean, there was a few scenes like, at one point, they were seeing a video of someone being choked. Yeah. And she's like, ah, 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 and then after like 30 seconds of her choking, the character's like, oh my God, Jesus Christ, he's choking her. That I was, don't remember that. <laughs> there was some weird dialogue. There was... There was, uh, his name is Vengeance. Like, I don't think, they only refer to him as Batman, I think, a few times. But, like, Catwoman calling him Vengeance throughout the whole movie was so cringe. It was really off. I think she was, okay. How right. do you feel about that, Vengeance? What do you think I now, think she Vengeance? was being sarcastic. Yeah, but it was just, Because uh, he said something about, okay, all right, tough crowd, eh? That, Maybe he's a tough crowd. Also, the dude cracked every riddle in five seconds. He's even. a genius. Batman is a genius. I know Bruce Wayne's a genius, but like literally, there's no. He's like, 
By the way, they were easy. Re- Batman is the. You don't understand. understand the character. He's the greatest detective that ever lived. I understand. And that's not like a hyperbole. He is. He's a genius, bro. My boy's wicked smart. <laughs> Well, he wasn't smart enough well, to walk away from a bomb to the face. Not, that's not a spoiler. You are, you're just saying too much, bro. Cut okay, that's out. the last thing I'm going to say. But, like, he just legit stood there. He just stood there. I don't, I don't it, know. It, I mean, it's not a spoiler because it didn't lead to anything. It was just. Well, it's not a spoiler, but I, I don't know. You, do, you, gotta, you, just, you didn't like the film. I and that's it. fine. I you're wanted titled. to. I really wanted to. How can, but you fell asleep, so how can you be I didn't, partial I was about credit? to fall asleep. Did anyone else see it? Uh, oh, you I saw it, Ian. Yeah, Ian yeah. saw it. What do you think? I, I thought it was okay. Thank you. Me too. Uh, it was fine. Yeah, it's it was not fine. the best Batman. It's not the worst. <clears throat> it was just That's fine. how I felt. Did you feel like the uh, PG-13 rating kind of held it back? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I thought they did a good job of making him seem <clears throat> scary without having to show a bunch of blood and, and gore and stuff. But my issue was I felt like the villain was kind of half baked a little yeah bit. uh you you know without spoiling i feel like you don't really get to interact with the villain very much mm. and paul dano the actor he's fantastic <laughs> yeah everything i've seen him in he's been incredible and i feel like they kind of hid him that's true and eh? you didn't really get to see him flourish and and be scary he was so like tucked away that was kind of one of that's my a, that's that's a great point i think that would have that would have greatly enhanced the film it, more interaction between batman and the riddler because that's yeah. kind of like what the batman series is all about is like the comparison of batman interacting with the villains but uh the act i mean they got amazing actors man the roster on that was was crazy yeah the acting was great mm-hmm. uh what about uh do you have a nacho review how are those nachos Nachos were good. Very, probably the worst um, food to eat in the dark during a movie. <laughs> they were good, but I would not recommend eating nachos in a movie theater. Oh, and then the the uh, the usher or whatever, because we went to this theater where they like serve you. And she's just clearing shit. It's kind of weird because they just come out in the middle of the film. And they're like, here's your check. Here, 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 you sign here and shit, you know? And then the other thing is she was trying to clear plates from, there's like a little tray and then the table and then the chairs are together and she's clearing plates and she spilled a whole tub of popcorn on me and then just walked away. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> she just walked away. So I had to go, I mean, it's fine. I had to like literally scoop hordes of popcorn off me. <laughs> That happened to me with hot coffee at one of those theaters. Hot coffee? Yeah. Not they, fun. And they just walked away? They didn't walk away. They were apologetic, but they still spilled it on me. I mean, it was an accident. Yeah. But, I, I think mean. she was too embarrassed and didn't want to deal with it, which is fine. As a waiter, I totally understand. Totally. You know? But, okay. You Damn hate it. I, What would you give it out of 1 out of 10? I didn't hate it. I just didn't think it was, it was good. I'd say maybe your six. Exact quote was that movie was fucking dog shit. <laughs> yeah, your background. <laughs> my my okay. knee jerk was yeah, it was dog shit. I mean, I don't know. I was just really excited for it. I was hoping it'd be good. So a let down. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, I thought it was like maybe a six. I mean, not spectacular, but pretty good. That's what I gave it a six. Better or worse than the? Uh, How do we give it the same rating? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> What did you say, Dan? Was it better or worse than the uh, Jim Carrey Riddler movie? Uh, way not, better. Way better than that one? Yeah, way okay. better. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Sam and I yesterday went to this, like, um, it was a screening of all of the animated short films nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> hmm. And we thought it was going to be all these, like, cute little, like, Pixar Disney shorts. The first one is, like, super adorable. And then they start playing this short film that was about like the secret police in Chile um, torturing people. It was Jesus. an animated movie. And there were all these kids in the theater. Oh and my God. They, there was one scene in particular that was just horrifying. It was so disgusting. And I'm sitting there like going, oh my God, there's so many children. It was, it was, it was upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's great. They're like, yeah. all right, now let me stick it in his eye socket. <laughs> yeah. That'll teach him. Was it he, called people, Beast? 
Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. By the way, people in the chat are saying it was great. A lot of people saying it was great, better than Dark Knight. I've actually heard people saying it's their favorite Batman movie. People hmm. are pissed at me right now. Yeah. Well, I yeah, I saw you. Done. This is what I see happening, <laughs> AB. Because you, you're a man of the people. You're reading the chat, and you're backpedaling from your take. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm talking shit in the chat. Oh. No, I, 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 I said you guys are crying about a movie. I'm, this is fucking hilarious. No, mm. I, all right. It was good. It was it was okay. It was a ten. Actually, now that I read the chat, it was a ten. Okay. All right, let's move it on, eh? Oh, Daniel. Oh yeah, Dan had a Wendy Williams segment, oh, guys. So I didn't know you. This, you got this did. sound bited, uh, Zach? I do. Okay, good. Yeah. So we kind of someone spotted this moment. Dan is the new Wendy Williams. Listen closely. Oh, apparently, he, on your soul. I didn't know what you're saying, dude. Because oh, apparently, <laughs> what? I I was when uh, you guys sent the clip this weekend. I was baffled. I had to watch it so, like I didn't know five or six saying, times dude. to even understand what was happening. Oh, because <laughs> it's like you pivoted away and then. Yeah, I stumbled over my words. Go ahead, Zach. Hit me with that. <laughs> I still don't know what's going on there. I think he just went, he just changed what he wanted to say, but... I'm just stammering. <laughs> That's good content. It's epic. I'm going to come... <laughs> yeah. I would... Uh, yeah. DJ Khaled? We're still watching DJ Khaled videos in 2022, guys. Wait, real quick. What? You got something for me? Yeah. You guys saw the Dispaccio meme? Thing to say. <laughs> it's okay, an 11-minute right. compilation of you mispronouncing words. No, nobody's debating that. What you, act, <laughs> you act like nobody talks about that. Okay, fair enough. You just went, ah, uh, mm, mm. I know. That's not enough. We can't have the one moment of you? You can have a moment. Okay. <laughs> You want to watch it? Go ahead. We'll watch the whole thing. No, we don't. I'm not going. I mean, they're a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, DJ Khaled. He's back, baby. He's back. Oh, he's playing basketball. You know this is going to be good. Khaled's got mad skill, bro. <laughs> here it is. Oh, where is he? He ain't here. He ain't here. <laughs> 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 One more time. Oh. Oh, he actually got that one. Give up. You should have cut it. Do not give up. <laughs> if you fall, get up. You keep going. Wow. Do he turns it into a whole inspirational shot. thing. There's so much ice on me. Another one. <laughs> wow, he really turned that around, eh? Yeah. You probably should have just cut it after that first miss. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it would have been funnier. Yeah, just. But uh, I but I did like like you said he, how he kind of uh, parlayed it into a life lesson. We the best moment. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out DJ Khaled. Um. Oh, so is Amar Amaranth is sending us a jar fart, eh? Yep. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. So, Zach, are you committed to smelling it? It seems like Mizkiff already did it. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know in this clip if he was, you know, exaggerating, but... So, based on his reaction, I'm thinking she got to put a little sulfur bomb in there or something. Cause there ain't no way a I fart... Fake. I, I do. I don't too. think a, a fart could hold its stink like that for mm -hmm. that long. That's a big accusation. And she's a friend of the show. Like, well, here, watching you tell me what you think. I mean, bro, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> Miss kept acting like he doesn't want to inhale every molecule in there. <laughs> One. Oh my God! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's actually a fucking fart in there. Dude, you know what I'm it's saying? That bad? If it's that bad, I think she snuck a little sulfur. So. Mm. We should uh, do a maybe one of our horses. Do an experiment. We should jar like one of Zach's. That's a really oh, good. That's, compare? that's Yeah, we need to expose her lies. Oh, interesting. Maybe we could send it back to her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you God. smell ours. You will smell yours. We send our regards. 
Zach's on that keto diet too. Yeah. That's gonna be. Oh yeah, it's gonna be yeah, pungent. Be. Yeah, I think she did a little fart spray in there. It has to be. You know. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Can you imagine buying a thousand dollar squirt of fart spray? Because that's what's happening. <laughs> that's some bullshit, dude. I mean, for her charging that much, I'm inclined to to believe her. Like, I feel like. There's no way. I mean, that's there's, fraud. There's just that's fraud. We need an investigation. <laughs> yeah, that's that's grand theft, even, isn't it? That's fraud. It's, I don't know if it's grand theft. It's fraud. It's at least false advertising. Mm. Let's think of how to take ourselves <laughs> out of this fraud. <laughs> Amaranth shit in her butt says, "Go ahead, let's play that again." Like we gotta let's think. Let's think of how to dig ourselves out of this fraud. We right, gotta I think of how to dig our way out of this. That's what her poop says. <laughs> So right, you're right that it's not exactly grand theft, but the the threshold for grand theft is nine hundred and fifty dollars. So she's Ooh. charging a thousand. So I mean, it's 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 getting into serious crime territory if she is it's, it's lying fraud. about it. Yeah, yeah. It's she's not stealing. That's not fraud. Hmm. By the way, Zach, I watched that documentary you recommended. Man, that thing was depressing, bro. I had to bail halfway through. Which one? Of the criminals that they follow for like thirty years. Oh yeah, I mean, I gave you a fair warning. You did. It was, it was good. It was really good, but yeah. I just couldn't do it. It was it, depressing. It's not. Yeah, I mean, yes, because it's like follows the family and it's the kids that are just what they're all getting arrested and going to jail. No, they're just horrible. I mean, they're horrible. They're doing drugs in front of their kids. They're leaving Uh, their kids by themselves all day. The kid you there's shots of the kids being like, why don't you love me? If you're going out, then you don't love it's just no, it was gnarly. It definitely. No, it's so sad. I mean, I just feel so bad for those kids, man. Yeah. But um, yes, yeah. I gave you a fair warning. That is <laughs> gnarly. Bugged up. Uh, here comes an Aiden Ross meme. This one was pretty good. <laughs> now I'm not the wisest. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. Uh, but uh, I mean, I'm smarter than this, right? Making NATO's border with Russia <laughs> the longest it's ever been. Wow. Belarus, Ukraine, this and is getting Georgia interesting. I actually the understand it, bro. Soviet countries left between Russia and NATO. But Ukraine and Georgia both wanted to join NATO for a long time. Georgia. And that. I gotta be fucking tripping. (laughs) Is this for... Is this maybe years ago? How is Atlanta all the way over here? (laughs) You can't be for real. Atlanta is all the way over here. uh, We were talking about this the other day, and Love Love thinks that he's he's faking it. I don't know, man. He is dumb. No, I don't think it's he necessarily is faking it, but I do think it's possible. Why would he want to be it's kind of his, perceived as being that dumb? I think it's just kind of like his shtick, maybe. Of, I mean, maybe he is just that dumb. I, I think I he know. is, man. It's definitely a thing on Twitch, though, that people are playing kind of dumb to entertain. Um, and then they, the longer they play dumb, the dumber they, they become, if that makes sense. <laughs> right. I think maybe he made the mistake and then he just played into it. I think he really thought Atlanta was, uh... (laughs) Was in Central Asia? Yeah. Yeah. Georgia. Georgia. (laughs) A dream of (laughs) Sukabliet. No. Oh, God. I I swear to God. No, 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 no. Listen. No, no, no. Do not fucking think. Oh, he's trolling. I swear to God, I'm not even trolling. How? Hold on a second. Let me pull a map. That crypto shit. Map of the yeah. world. I swear my life I'm not trolling. I, on, on everything I love, I'm not trolling, bro. Okay, is there just a website? <laughs> He's picking his nose while talking about joy. I mean, Atlanta. He picks his nose a lot. Bro, what is he? he, he you can't do that on stream. I try to think, but nothing happens. <laughs> trying to think, but nothing happens. I've seen multiple clips of him where that isn't even the focus, and I've noticed he's always digging in there. I don't know. It's a little weird. Now that is weird. That's what I'm saying, bro. I think he's struggling, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, probably. I think his brain is uh, working on overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So much to catch up on, eh? Um, Je- okay, so here, let's get into some, some meat and bones here, as they say. So Jeff Whittick, as you guys know, his buddy did a drive-by on our house. They got the message. 
and with the caption of, uh, hey, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was like, hey, you, I know where you live. I can get to you, okay? Does anyone have the direct quote? But anyway, he drove by my house in the morning and at night, and then we realized the first drive through was even before I mentioned him. And, um, that's really disturbing. And I don't know what I ever did to Jeff. I feel like I goofed on them a bit. But I was team Jeff. I wanted to help him. I was going to help him with lawyers. I was, you know, we were going to have him on the show. I just, I don't know why he hates me so much. In this clip where he had Tana and Mike on, Tana literally says that he told her he wants to kill me. Is this funny? To, uh, I'm missing the joke. Here. Um, he said, Ethan Klein, don't worry, I have all the intel I need. Yeah. Very menacing. Threatening. And then when he got back to Miami or wherever he lives, he goes, Hey, they got the message in Hollywood. <clears throat> I'm going to leave his friend out of it because that guy is just, I don't know, man. Not right. So also, are you guys going like into this whole everything? murder shit? Because I can't be a part of it. <coughs> no, 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 no. We're just joking around. You know. If you're murdering, I can't do it. I'm a fucking felon. Dude. We're just joking around. I'm down. We're just joking around. We drove by his house twice through a gated community. <laughs> I took pictures of his license plate and inside his house. Don't you get the joke? It's funny. <laughs> it's a joke. I killed his dog. Ha <laughs> ha. Real funny, huh? I went in his backyard and watched him through his kitchen window. What's not funny about that? It's a joke. Tana, for context, last week. You told week, me you want like H3 dead. And you told me you want H3 dead. She said that, right? Mm hmm. I didn't mishear that. That's what she said. Why, why does he want me dead? Like, I don't understand what I did to offend these guys so much. I did an Italian voice. Is that all it takes, Jeff, to make you want to kill someone? I mean, I don't get it, man. It's just not... I don't know, bro. I don't know. Oh, no. So one of my friends went over there and, and like... Filmed the house, and then Ethan got all scared and texted me a bunch of stuff. And he like, got all scared. His friend, people was, <laughs> it's hey, it's not my fault. Ethan got scared. He's there with his family and his newborn baby and his two-year-old. He got scared. What's the big deal? It's his problem. My friend lied to get into the gated community twice on two separate occasions. With a he, fake ID. With the fake ID. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's a totally normal thing for a grown man to have. By the it way. was just a little joke. He got scared. It's not my problem. <laughs> hey, if he got scared, that's his problem. If he didn't get the joke, what kind of funny man is he? He's supposed to be a comedian. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha, joker man. What, do I make you laugh? What am I, some kind of a uh, clown? Like how you just... <laughs> Uh-oh. God. You come to my house. Dude, this is Godfather. You're doing more of like a... Goodfellas, Yeah, but... you're doing like well, a Goodfellas. Well, he put on the Godfather music. But that's what I'm saying, is like we need like a slightly different vibed Italian mafia music <laughs> for, for this new... <laughs> right. ...wise guy character. Yeah. Had, I need a wise guy Yeah, you need wise yeah. guy. All right, I, I'll, uh, I'll look into it. Yeah, so what? I put a whack on him. It's not a, that serious, it's just a joke. He said kill his dogs. Take a shit on his doorstep. It's all funny. You don't get it? You're the comedian. You're supposed to get jokes. I sent my goon over to your house. Who's 6'2 and 300 pounds. Ha ha. Funny. He got scared. Not my problem. <laughs> I told my friend I wanted to kill him. What's the big deal? I told Tana I want him dead. It's just a joke. 
basically said instead of putting out a hit on him that you had one of your friends go there and film it. I, I hey, have him go there. He chose. Yo, yo, yo. So is Tana giving away the the behind the scenes here a little bit? It sounds like it. She said. I mean, I don't think Jeff was serious in the sense that he would actually do that, but it sounds like he was super pissed and behind the scenes was like ranting about. No, Tana said here, and correct me if I'm under misunderstanding. She said. Said instead of putting out a hit on him that you had one of your friends go there. And she <laughs> said instead of putting a hit on him. Mm -hmm. Hey, I put a hit on people that make fun of me. What's the big deal? You know? I'm a nice guy. Until you make fun of me. Then I'll kill you. She said, instead of putting a hit on him, I'm going to send my friend to scare him. She said he told her that. Right? It sure sounds like that's what she said. And yet, have we talked about... We talked about the whole timeline of all of this. Yeah, we did show, last right? time. But like... Yeah. So... The first time we were goofing on Jeff a bit, before his friend was even involved, and then we found out from the security that his friend came to our house the day before we ever even talked about his friend. Right, correct. Because Jeff was like, it was just my friend. He, yeah. took, he, he has a mind of his own. I can't control. But he actually came. But Tana's saying Jeff sent him to my house to scare him. That's what Tana said. Just to said. scare him a little bit. Otherwise, I'd have to kill him. I mean, it makes more sense than him just arbitrarily stalking your house before ever saying anything about him, right? Like, Yes, it would. Why are you guys hanging out with a dude that's talking about killing people for making fun of him? Je also, I, I gotta say, um, Mike seems very concerned, and I like that for him. I mean, I like <laughs> that he's like, yeah, this, I actually, look at his face right now. He's like, yo, guys, um... <laughs> Can we stop talking? I can't about this? do this right now. <laughs> I don't want to be involved. I shit my pants today. I gotta say, Mike's slowly growing on me. Okay. Don't say that around Zach. Interesting. Sorry, Zach. Look, Hello. everyone, you know, if he has a redemption arc, he has a redemption arc. The guy can still shit his gym shorts, though. Once you shit your gym shorts, the gym shorts are always dirty. You understand? <laughs> yeah, he can be a good guy, but have dirty gym shorts. He's this vengeance. All right, let's, let's, and then also I got to give a shout out to Tana, really, for just laying it out there, too. She's like, listen, you threatened to kill the guy for making fun of you. Just say it like it is. I didn't hey, have him go now. there. He chose to do it. He got made fun of, and it was yeah. his own decision to go and He do got it. made what fun of. Not what happened. Still lying about that. He did not do that because he was made fun of. He was at the house before, before we ever, we ever talked about him. him. So stop saying that, dude. Just lying again. <laughs> just like he did when he came on our show. The dude can't fucking help himself. He just fucking... When he's, when he's talking, he's lying. Alright, Dan, relax. He's gonna kill me if you lay it on too hard. Dan, if you lay it on too hard, <laughs> he's gonna whack me. I'm gonna tell a well, funny the, joke on him. The cops will know who did it, at least. <laughs> yeah, if I wind up dead, remember, remember, remember who did it. Listen, I'm gonna I'm a tell you a joke, funny man. How about I come into your house and kill your whole family? <laughs> Does that sound funny to you? Get it? It's a joke. That's a cute dog. What if you wake up with his head in your bed? <laughs> the fucking joker left. <laughs> chose to do it he got made fun of and it was yeah. his own decision to go and do it yeah he's ignoring the fact he came before we ever talked about him yep also it's so weird whenever i talk to jeff about it he's like listen he's his own man i can't tell him what to do it's like what <laughs> and i you know I, I stopped him after ethan had asked i told him back off why don't you call helped. i don't ethan. even know who these goons are why don't you call ethan into the show right now that was a soundbite I, there. He, I don't think he wants to come anywhere around me anymore. I need a disclaimer. I don't want any, any part of this. Like, also, are you guys <laughs> Understandable, going this Mike. Murder <laughs> shit, because I can't be a part of it either. No, no, Murder, no. We're just, just joking around. Mobsters. It's just a joke. Just joking around. I would talk to Jeff. It's not going to be good for Jeff. It never <laughs> is. I'll tell you, Jeff, you're not, you're not going to look good because you're fucking lying. He came before I ever talked about him, and I have proof, Okay. Okay, Ethan. Oh, God, he's such a menace, bro. Wow. 
why. I literally, like, I goofed on him a bit, okay? I'm, I wanted to support Jeff. That's the thing. I was even taught. I was like, I'm going to help you. I'm going to get you a lawyer. I wanted to come on the show. You wanted to be his best we, friend. We, I was, I kept saying, uh, yeah, I wanted to be his best friend. We were going to, I was going to help him. I just, I don't know. Like, I'm, what's Team Jeff? Why the hostility? Not even like hostile in the sense of uh, the Keemstar sense. It's more like an actual threat of violence hostility, which is something I've not dealt with from another creator. That doesn't seem normal. <sighs> He's welcome to talk, call in, though, man. You know. Here's a funny joke. How about I burn down your house? <laughs> ha ha. Get it? <laughs> hey. Knock knock. Who's there? Put up your hands. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Get it? <laughs> the joke. <laughs> what don't you get, that funny was, man? That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, the music like restarted. Threw me yeah, that was me. <laughs> knock, knock. Who, guess who's there? A six-two Italian man with nothing to lose is gonna strangle you to death. <laughs> Get it? That's a nice baby you got. Shame if something happened to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, like, this is actually... Dis Bro, I don't even know what to say about this, but... It's so disturbing. It really is. And, you know, of all the petty beefs we've been in in my life on YouTube, which is many, many, many... Many. many. I mean, and and I've gone in way harder on people. Let's be let's be honest. Barely went in on Jeff. Just goofed on him a bit. But I was supportive of him on, on the whole. Never threats of violence, man. Or even Ryan Kavanaugh hasn't shown up at your house. No. <laughs> Maybe Ryan paid them off. We've dedicated like a thousand hours to talking yeah. shit about that guy. Yeah, Ryan <laughs> has handled it more maturely than they have, and he sued me four times. Right. <laughs> I don't sue people. I just kill them. Get it? Sometimes it's easier just to make the problem go away. I wonder what he's doing to David. To be honest, if I was David, I'd be scared for my safety. Because if that's what they're doing to me, I think they've... I think well, that's David might be taking a dirt nap. The same guy that stalked your house is like posting on Instagram repeatedly about how he wants to find David and offering bounties for his location and stuff. Yeah. Which kind of takes on, like, he's just joking around, too, except it takes a little bit of a different context when you know what yeah, he's there, he was Yeah, he posted a video where he had, like, a... The dude had in his trunk a crate of Yeezys. Like, it literally, quote, unquote, <laughs> fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> And he says, I got a pair of Yeezys for anyone that could tell me where the bald eagle is. Right, the bald eagle. I was trying to remember what he keeps calling I'm it. trying to skin a bald eagle. Right. Dude, just sue him. Why do you got to threaten to kill people? Just sue him. Like, it's not rocket science, bro. And just leave me the fuck alone, brother. I don't know. So that's it. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. That video was pretty funny of the guy with the Yeezy in his trunk, but I'm not even going to fuck. I'm not even going to show his friend, man. Yeah. He is like, his friend is like the goon, though. He's like the, he's the muscle. <laughs> He's the muscle. You don't want to get a visit from my buddy. I'll tell you what. 
We'll bury you in a pair of Yeezys. Send you off real nice. <laughs> <laughs> also, Jason revealed... Oh, man. I don't know. Jeff can't be happy about this either. Because Jason actually just... Jeff was saying that... Um, Geek sponsored this. Jeff was saying that day on Twitter. Can you pull up the exact tweets? Because I don't want to miss. I don't want to mischaracterize what he said. But he was basically saying that he there was this roast of Bryce Hall that just aired, that Seat Geek put on, and Jeff said that uh, his whole set was cut from the from the roast. Now let's read it specifically so we don't misquote. He said, I'm no longer part of the Rose of Bryce Hall. My entire set will be cut due to censorship and David Dobrik being involved. I refuse to be a part of anything that Scumbag is involved on from here on out. Well, that's fair. He basically says some of his jokes were censored and he doesn't want to be a part of anything with David. So that seems accurate. What else? He said more about it, no? Uh... I chose to have my set cut. They tried to remove half my jokes was supposed to be a comedy show. I didn't say anything I wouldn't say in my own YouTube videos. This is all because that coward was there and he can't take jokes. So, okay. Go to, I think there's more. Hey, look, he's sponsored again. Congrats, you bald eagle. He needs help with insults. The bald eagle thing is not that good. Yeah, it's not, not very strong. I can help you write jokes, Jeff, if we were <laughs> buddies, but... I'm gonna call David. I'm gonna call David bald every chance I get. But if you mention my eye, I'll fucking kill you. So okay, so here's what Jason had to say about it, which is really like the vlog squad guys never comment publicly on this shit ever. So this is pretty Geek spectacular. Sponsored this roast. They're a great company. They're a great app, uh, and more importantly, they're they're just great people to work with. They. Uh, they really get it. They really made the roast so fun. They came and gave away tickets. There was all kinds of stuff that they did that night that was really cool. Um, and basically, there were uh, a bunch of jokes that they wanted cut out of it. And I said, of course, you know, it's, you guys are paying. And that's the way it works with brands. Brands, you know, they're paying you. So, you know, they want uh, certain things gone. And the things that they asked to cut, I didn't think were that crazy. Um, um, the and, jokes that Jeff got. Hey, David, I hope you fucking die. And guess what? If it's me that did it, well, then my dreams came true. Seeking's <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe a little, come on. A tone little it strong. down a little bit, a couple He's notches. like, come on, it's free speech. Hey, David, the next time you go out, I'll be in your house waiting. Ha ha, get it? Seeking's <laughs> like, ah. Maybe not threaten him, like, more, more jokey. Oh, let me try again. Hey, David, next time you start your car, will be your last. It's a car bomb. They're like, well, what's the joke? It's just a threat of mine. <laughs> hey, come on, this is censorship. Hey, David, I'm going to make you pay with your life. I'm going to kill your parents, your siblings, your pets, everything you love. Look at me. You're dead. The bottom line is you cannot be trusted. Seeky's like, that's not a joke. You're just literally threatening a man. Come on. It's a joke. You believe in free speech? Come on. <laughs> you think I'm really going to hurt him? So Jeff had four or five jokes that were cut. And so what's been going on, why the roast isn't out yet, is because I've been, um, you know, going back and forth with Jeff and Siki, trying to find a compromise um, yes, in terms of what jokes. Are people so say. fucking busy they can't, they have to film videos in their car? I, I don't get this video. This is a common format. It's like, dude, are you so busy? You can't just film this not driving. I mean, maybe. I don't think so. It's a t one minute video. Yeah. 
Hey, I'm so busy. This is the only second of free time. Go ahead, Avia. You want to say something? I mean, I understand for audio purposes, but I don't get while driving. If the car is still, I think it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. But if you're driving, I don't understand that. I've always felt that was weird as well. What are you, Jerry Seinfeld? You know? No. Just take the video. You're not that fucking busy, Jason Nash. I know you're not. Stop laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> Jason Nass, Jason Nass about to come to my house and kill me now that I made fun of him. That's the new norm. Yeah. I got to beef up security. I made some jokes about Billie Eilish. That, that's the world, huh? Where people just come and kill you when you make jokes about them? Um, and so Geek sponsored this roast. They're great. Come. So, I mean, it's not... I think if you go back and read the tweets, I don't think it's necessarily contradictory. Because uh, Jeff said, some of my jokes were cut. Wait, there's more. Shit, I didn't watch the whole thing. Wait. Stand by. Dead air. I don't think the... Geek sponsor. Here. Uh, go ahead. Yep. I got Jeff to cut two of the jokes, but then there were three more that Jeff uh, wouldn't budge on, and he said, I want to pull my set. And so that's basically it. That's, there's no drama to it. Um, there's, it's unfortunate, because Jeff's set was so good and so funny. That's what he wants to do, and, you know, he's, I, uh, I got Jeff to cut. So there you have it. He said, Jeff said, I cut it because they were censoring my jokes, which is true. Mm-hmm. And then he said, because I don't want to be, you know, a part of anything with David, which, you know, he did pull it out. So he was telling the truth. Fair enough. Yeah. <sighs> also, Jason would lie to protect. If David was like, I don't want those jokes in there because they make me look bad. I feel like Jason would lie to protect him. It'd be like seeking. I guess that back. that's, I guess that's the thing is like rereading Jeff's tweets with this context. It, it does seem like straightforward that what he was doing but i think we all interpreted it as david was insisting that these jokes be cut definitely which and it, doesn't and sound like is what happened it sounds like seek geek according to jason according to it jason. could be that david didn't because Je another thing jeff said is that david came over and had editorial rights on the documentary they filmed together mm -hmm. to make david look less bad so right i, I believe that david would do that yeah it could be now, did you see my little side note in there? Right under side there? note. Uh, Jason Nash hairline can hmm. Cam pointed out. Let's check it out. That's been, pretty How old is Jason Nash? He's like almost fifty. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Geek sponsored this for Yeah, he 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 I, has uh, a really I, good that's hairline. A fifty year old man. man. I mean, yeah, his hair is beautiful too. Actually, yeah. Hold on, let me get a close up. Jason Nash. Let's just get a real close up here of the hairline. Ooh, look at my hair. He's got like beautiful straight hair. Damn, bro, that hairline is insane right now. We got to get him to pull it back, though. You know. Let's see if we can. I mean, that's a pretty clean shot of the hairline. No? Yeah. That is impressive. I mean, compared to David's, who's like half his age. You know who? <laughs> you know who reminds me of is uh, ah, uh, what's that filmmaker? Uh, he makes the really weird films, Twin Peaks. Oh, David Lynch? He has an insane yeah, his, hair. his hair is insane. Yeah. He might be the king. Yeah, because... He really might be the king, What's actually. his age? He's probably pushing 70. Yeah, days. easily. And I think Jason... His hair is gorgeous, dude. Yeah, David Lynch is... The and it's all gray, and <laughs> it hasn't moved an inch. 76. 76, and this man has still the hair, a hairline like this? How oh, is that possible? Wow. How is that possible? I don't know. Him and... Uh, wasn't it Lucas, too, that we... Oh, Realize yeah, yeah. has like, it's like almost down to his eyebrows. It's like crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my lord! God! Look at that hair! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh wow. Jesus, Lord! I can't believe this! I can't <laughs> believe what I'm seeing. Yeah, that that oh. man might actually be the hairline king. He might be the king. Wait, he's like, just a that. king in every regard. Look love, at this shit. Love this man. What an inch. Yep. What's that one thing he do? Uh, the Friday thing, Dan? What he announces the, the well, he does. So, for 
like a decade now, David Lynch has done a daily weather report that he puts up. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, Isn't that Frankie McDowell's territory? He might be crap. I don't know who that is. This is Frankie McDowell. We got dangerous weather. Tornado warning for Nebraska. Everybody, oh, you don't know Frankie oh, McDowell? Oh, yeah. Internet yes. legends. I do know who you're talking about. Um, yeah, here it is, seven hours ago. Good morning. It's March 7, <laughs> 2022, here, and it's a Monday. Frankie McDowell. Here in L.A., a uh, beautiful sunny morning. <laughs> He's done this Slight for years, breeze like a blowing. decade. I can't get my eyes off his hairline. Degrees. I know, look at that. He wears like the same outfit every day too, right, Dan? Uh, he's just always wearing the glasses. All right, well, sure let's hear it. Hold on. I okay, know. you want to hear the weather? Okay. Breeze blowing. 43 degrees Fahrenheit, around 6 Celsius. <laughs> Today, I was thinking about the song... Oh, he Across always gives, the universe. Always gives a song suggestion as well. By the Beatles, from the year 1969. This afternoon, it'll be going up to <laughs> 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, he didn't expand on the song. No, no, he's Celsius, always just like, I've been thinking about this song today. And it looks like we're going to be enjoying those beautiful. Blue skies and golden sunshine all, all along, along the, way. the way. Everyone, have a great day. All right. Every day. Now pull up Frankie McDowell and let's see who does it better. Okay. Let's see. I know David Lynch is the man, but... Uh, he is a legend, living legend. But he ain't no weatherman. Frank- oh, I'm telling you. Frankie... Oh, Lord. McDonald? McDonald. McDowell. McDowell, McDonald. Okay. McDonald. Uh, okay, we got uh, four days ago. Big boy boxing gloves! Okay, okay uh, you David's gotta, was a little bit more... <laughs> you, that, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> this you got to find the weather. Video. Okay. Yeah, find the weather. Uh, me saying No, Bitcoin. don't, no, no, no. Massive storm to hit Massachusetts. Yeah, click that. Frankie McDonald to my own TV station, live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Massive snowstorm is headed towards Massachusetts on Friday, February 25th, 2022. It's going to bring up to 6 to 12 inches of snow or more, especially in Boston, Massachusetts, Springfield, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, including Provincetown. This is useful information. Massachusetts is going to bring a lot of snow. Be you know, it's, use, it's useful information, but especially in Cape Cod. You know, this this is like an emergency weather report. We have. Yeah. Uh, does he generally just do the emergency yeah, weather? Yeah, he he's into the emergency. So you can go to David for your daily meteorological uh, yeah. information, and then when there's breaking news about a big, you know, potential disastrous storm, Frankie's got you covered. I think they complement each other. You know, they, the the world is wide enough for both of right. them. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I love Frankie. If you guys need some extreme weather reports, there's that's the man to do it for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay, well, Jeff, please just leave me the fuck alone, dude. <laughs> and I'll leave you alone, which apparently is let's just make a let's just do an armistice, a ceasefire. Ceasefire, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want any trouble, dude. Please. Fair enough. We should do our uh ads. We're good. All right. Oh, 50 Thank minutes into you. this fucking show. 50? 50. You got to keep me honest. Bro. How did that happen? I just, this Jeff discussion got away from us. Guys, thank you to Curology. I love Curology. It's so nice because I care about my skin, but I'm not going to, I just don't want to put in the effort to talking to a dermatologist, to doing like mountains of research to figure out which air, uh, which stuff to use. What Curology does is you take a survey you send a picture of your skin and the dermatology provider will send you a perfect dermatology formula to treat whatever's going on with your skin um they were talking about uh, they've got all the stuff here they 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 treat like the dark the dark spots the blackheads the acne i mean Everything that you would want, they, they're going to personalize this formula. 
to treat your skin. And the other thing that they include is the face wash and the moisturizer. And the face wash is perfect. It's so soft. It doesn't feel like it's stripping my skin of oil. Same with the moisturizer. It's so soft. My face doesn't feel greasy afterwards. It's a perfect uh, routine. And it just cuts out all the drama of, of, you know, seeing a dermatologist to get treated. So I love it. I've been using it religiously since we started working because I'd never heard of it. But, uh, yeah, I've been using it for about a, gosh, I don't know, a year maybe? Um, it's a game-changing custom skincare made for you by a dermatology provider to create a custom prescription cream for your specific goals. Acne, clogged pores, skin texture, dark spots, fine lines, or something else. Take an online quiz, upload photos of your face, and if it's a good fit, they'll ship you your formula right to your door. And it even has your name on it, so you know it's the real deal. I love it. I'm sure you guys will love it, too. Get a 30-day free trial uh, at Curology.com slash H3. Just pay 5 bucks for shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash H3 to get, start your free 30-day trial. Cancel any time. Prescription subject to consultation. Thank you to Curology. We love you. Mwah. We love you. Mm. And finally, thank you to Mint Mobile. If you're saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2022, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for wireless? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save money this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless services online only, Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. Dan is our Mint Mobile man. That's right. Mint Mobile. Same as the big guys. Much cheaper. Saves you. Get the exact same service. Uses the same network. I'm just trying to remember all these well, you points use that it. I every you time. use it. Yes. It right. works just as good. Just as good. And it's just less money. It's literally just free money. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Uh, for people looking to save extra money this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all existing contacts. And with Mint Mobile, choose the amount of monthly data that's right for you and stop paying for data you never use. That's right. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and to get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash h3tv. That's mintmobile.com slash h3tv. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash h3tv. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We just got a $50 donation from Mercedes asking AB specifically if he has any anime recommendation. Why are you asking him? I'm the weebo. Uh, and there's only one that AB ever recommends. You already know. Attack on Titan all day. <laughs> I'm, ba I'm behind two episodes. Damn. I'll watch him. I'm behind this whole season. This, like, latest it's good. run. It's a good, yeah, it's good. I'm just waiting. I don't even watch the fucking show, but this guy right here got the fucking theme song stuck in my head. <laughs> so catchy. How's it go again? It's the death metal one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Problem. Come on, bro. It's a yeah, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> Was that funny, Dan? You didn't like my rendition? <laughs> so I'm looking for a call right now. Let's see. Got cursed out by shoe nice. Oh, interesting. Um, what about Joey? Joey? Mm hmm. What do you mean by that? The caller, Joey. Um. Joey! I'm looking. Baby! Can relate to Ethan about having small hands like him. Wanted to connect over people saying they have small hands. What is this, a support group? I don't need to talk to Joey. I have massive hands. <laughs> Joey! Hey, let me right. take a call from all, all the bald people that you can have a support group. Yeah, we could do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> We could definitely do that. All right, sorry, Joe, you're getting dropped. Rip. Keep on trucking with those small hands. Wait, 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 I gotta hear this. Okay, Michael. Michael? 
Ethan. All right, tell me what yeah. happened. All right. So, yeah, I was at the Oliver Tree concert last night. Yeah. And he brought Logan Paul on to sing Life Goes On, like you did. Did that really happen? I can't believe it. Yeah, you can check out. He was in Cleveland last Logan night, and they the were story. at the show. I do know that. Boosted! Mm -hmm. I gotta say, uh, I'm a, I, 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 oh. Oliver's banned. He's banned from the podcast. There will no be. Enemy of the show. <laughs> were, were people booing in the audience? Tell me what was going oh, on. No. For sure, yeah. Um, so, like, the reaction was honestly, like, mixed. Because, like, you know, little kids like Oliver, you know, no, no problem with that. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, it was, like, half and half, like, booing. You know, people from Cleveland don't really like uh, Logan Paul. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> it's kind of funny if he got booed. But oh, wait, it's on audience. a story here. Hold on, I got to see this. It's on Logan's mm -hmm. IG story. Yeah, oh, Ela's like listening. <laughs> Yo, I got to see that. Can someone? How do I watch that? I guess I'm logged in. I yeah, you're logged in. Yeah, should be able to pull it up. <laughs> Ela's got the intel here. Let me pull this shit up. All right, Logan Paul. Okay. You know what he else he was doing? They were doing the Instagram stories back and forth like we were doing. Yeah. Okay. Here Come up is. with your own your own like stick, him. man. Here, let's see. First ever in Boston Live in Columbus, Ohio! Okay, that I don't care about. So this Logan is what I'm saying. fucking Paul, I'm out. He did this whole shtick. Oh, he dressed up? But do people like Logan Paul? Like, the people... The people that like Oliver Tree like Logan Paul. That seems like a weird crossover. I mean, this is his home state, though, so that may be a big factor. Right. But don't, wouldn't people from Ohio like Logan Paul less? No. They, well, our caller yeah. seems to think so, yeah. That yeah, it's like, exactly well, who wants to own that? There. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a good, good bit of people booing, and um, at one point he started a fuck Logan Paul chain. And, like, <laughs> the crowd was into it. Okay, well, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye that. Uh, What a nightmare. Why is this happening to me? I thought we were friends. <laughs> well, yeah, it was, it was weird. It was like, fully, like, the vibe of the concert was weird, like, once he did that. Um, and then at the end of the concert, um, he brought Logan and Mike back on stage. And it was like, that took a lot of, like, ball hair for Logan to do that, to come on and, like, sing in front of you guys. So, like, give a round of applause. And, like, yeah, the reaction was mixed. It was like... You know, people were booing. Was oh, he was actually people trying to be like, cheering. yo, don't be mean to Logan, because people were really turning on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of yeah, epic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like that. <laughs> Logan's turning it into the Logan Paul show, eh? I mean, I'm sure they planned it all out. No, I know, but like, how long was Logan on stage? He sang like half the song, and then like all no. came back on. No, he was on stage a lot. He said half the song. Yeah, he came back on like. Oh, oh okay. He well, he sang like half the song, and then he brought came back on because it was like well, later in the show. Um, Got it. But was like, oh, man, fuck Logan Paul, and Logan comes running on. And like chokes in, and it was just like fake fight with like security, and um, yeah, I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> I can't. He can't do the same shtick with Logan Paul. Can't do that. He can't have this fucking fake beef with every person. Oh, Gotta call him out. Oh yeah, bro. You Gotta know? call him out for real this time. <laughs> well, Michael's calling. Michael, did you ask for a refund, or I mean, what what <laughs> happened at the end of the show? <laughs> um. I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, I maybe, didn't, like, maybe, maybe you can still get a refund. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's still on the table. <laughs> the next day. Yeah, maybe I will. How was the concert? Yeah. How was Oliver? It was good. He was, you know, he was energetic and entertaining, and um, yeah, it was good. The set was cool. Tons nice. Outfit changes and stuff. Well, that's fun. Okay. Nice. At least you had a good time. Are you at work Everything right now? Was great. Yeah, you're whispering. Are you? Are you trying to are whisper? You, like hiding in your cubicle right now? No, no, I'm just oh, no? <laughs> It just seemed like you were really trying to keep your voice down, so your coworkers wouldn't. Well, be. you know, I'm, I'm happy. I, it's good. It's good exposure for Oliver. I'm happy he did on, got on the 
It seems like his he it was a hit on Impulsive too. Don't lie. Boosted. What it was? He was a, it was oh, a hit. You're happy about it? Well, I'm happy for him. It's good exposure, you know. Hmm. What the fuck? He's it's smart <laughs> what he's doing, right? Yeah, I suppose. So. Impulsive uh, Oliver Tree. Let's see at the views. It's under. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, did good. One point three million. I need to drop something too. Oliver Tree took back uh, the Love Boat girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, they brought a tablet for the Love Boat girlfriend, and he he took it back. Yeah. yeah. Good that you're saying that now, Love. I just wanted. It's wanted good that, that you're saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exposed. Anyone else got any dirt on Oliver before we move on? I do actually. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No, maybe I shouldn't say it on the show. You better say it right now. Now's the time. <laughs> We're taking him out. <laughs> no. Should I? How bad could it be? Well, tell, right, type in the Discord and I'll tell you if you say it or not. <laughs> yeah. Dan's got some real juice, apparently. Let's see. Dan's typing. Oh. I don't think that's what happened. I don't think that's what happened. Okay. Well, then I won't say anything. No, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't say that. Yeah. You're... I think Oliver was a real treat. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was. It was really fun having him on the show. Mm -hmm. Keep the guitar he gave me right, uh, right here. Always. Oh, you yeah, you need your to, gift? Oh. You need to break that. I need you to break that in half for me right now. <laughs> on camera. Friendship over. I lost two best friends today, Jeff and uh, Oliver, man. You're having a rough one. I'm sorry, dude. Who's going to be my best friend now? Michael, will you step in? <clears throat> oh, for sure. Um, there for you all. Oh, Michael's uh, there. I was like, yeah. who's Michael? All the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, all right. Me and Michael are best friends now. Thanks, Mike. You lose two, you gain one. Not a good day, but it could have been worse, right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for calling, all right? Take Thanks, care. Mike. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. All right, all right. Bye. Bye. Hmm. I don't know. Devastating. It is devastating. It is. Here, let's see. I'm looking for haters. Um. Chased by a crazy naked man, Lyft driver, fitness goals, shoe nice. I'm kind of interested in the shoe nice. I mean, I don't know. It's like Shoe Nice is always up to shenanigans. Yeah. Is it in person or on his live stream? Because he always. I bet it's people. got it. There's no way it's in person. Right. He always does that to people on his live streams. Yeah. Oh, stop. That's like his main content. Because I don't wipe my ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no haters out there, eh? No, only fans. You're just so loved. Oh, I'm, it's hard. Be loved by Here all. Be loved by all. All right, well, then I'm going to clear the queue, and um, if you want to talk some shit to Ethan, call in. That's what we're looking for here. Wait, how does Ela know? Ela's, oh, that's not Ela. It's Cam. I thought Ela was talking to me. Oh. He's using Ela's computer. <laughs> he's, using Ela's I was, computer. he's like, there was someone on who wanted to talk about being a conservative. I was like, how would Ela know that? <laughs> She's screening calls. Oh, what In is her that? her spare time. Yeah. All right, this next story is pretty great about the Ace family. Their house drama continues to unfold, man. And um, Stop! it's still good. You know, their, house, their big mansion was foreclosed on. And some, I guess, agent, one of these YouTubers did a walkthrough of their house. And the house was, like, gutted. They, like, gutted the appliances and sold them. Scammed. Which is apparently what degenerates do to try to. I uh, this is degeneracy. <laughs> Holy crap! Never judge a book by its cover. Welcome to the ultimate learning lesson. This is a thirteen million. Bro, I can't. I can't play that music. He says typically owners cannot afford payment. All appliances have been ripped out <laughs> to try and pay off the bank. The home is in total disarray. Awesome. I mean, we kind of knew that. I didn't expect them to be start ripping out appliances. I mean, we knew it was in disarray, but that's just corny, bro. To like rip out the dishwasher. <laughs> Who's gonna buy a used dishwasher that was ripped out? <laughs> pawn shop. I don't know. A pawn shop? You think they got space for dishwashers? <laughs> I don't know. They're not big. <laughs> Blood boiling. 
Damn, that's like bad. Uh, Why didn't he just chip out the stone in the wall? Sell that to a stone yard or something. I mean, holy Golly. crap. The this heat story is still just so unbelievable to me. That, like, yeah, it really is. That they're still like in still in denial about all of it to this day. Idiot. Yeah, I really want to know what what actually ha I mean, I think we know what happened is just that yeah, they scammed the bank. Right. They scammed uh they can't afford it. They're being sued like a 100 times. They're, they're the only people on, in the world being sued more than me at once. <laughs> and by different people, too. True. Yeah, this clip was pretty good. Speaking of Def Noodles uh Instagram page here. This was from the Bryce Hall Rose, and it's David laughing his ass off at the excavator jokes about Jeff. Members of the vlog squad here on stage tonight. We got Jonah, who can't see his own penis. Jason, who can't see his own kids. And Jeff, who can't see anything. I want to get serious here for a second and say, Jeff, after the whole excavator incident, we all agreed no more heavy machinery. Until tonight, when we had to use a forklift to get Joan on stage. <laughs> Members of the He's joking about left. David sitting next to phase, phase Blanks. You see that? He was? Yeah. What? The why is, he, why is Phase Blanks the, I'm everywhere? I'm you. We got Jonah, who can't They're see his own They're forming the Legion of Doom. Like, all of the enemies of the show. Like, little by little. I think, I think their hatred of us is, is driving them all together. You see, I am Batman. I think so. I want to get serious here for a second. This the Joker, the Riddler, Two Face. They're all teaming up, just <laughs> like in the just stupid. like in the comics. I'm gonna say, Jeff. After the whole excavator incident, we all agreed no more heavy machinery until tonight when we had to use a forklift to get Joan on stage. Where's Face? Oh, why Face blanks, dude? Get up! Just fucking damn! Why you gotta be everywhere? Blanks. Have, have some kids or something. You know what I mean? He needs oh, see, he's friends with Bryce Hall, I would assume. Like, they part of the same circle of Hollywood people. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> H3H3 H3 humor. So we've got um, Tiny TikTok. We've got a 400-year-old woman. I've seen that. Yeah, you you sent that the other day in the chat, which you really should have put a fucking warning. Why? It's crazy. Well, yeah, because you just sent the link without any other context, and I clicked it, and it was just like it's very not disturbing. Shocking. It's just like it's very disturbing. <laughs> it's a little disturbing. Is this the one? Wait, where's the one? The thing is, I it popped up for me again, and then I looked at the account that posted it, and the account is so weird. It's like all these clickbait, super elderly people. But they all are like captioned like this woman is 400 years old. No, I'm looking at this is all the same lady. This is the same there, person. Th there is some different people in there mixed in as well. Okay, so um, here is what they say is a 400 year woman. That's that is a fucking that is not. Oh, fuck. I mean, she not. This is 45 million views, and all the comments are. Believing it? No, she's not far. Yeah, I mean, she might, she's not far. She might be old. like 120 or something, you know. But holy God, I mean, she looks like she's been mummified. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, yeah, she is <laughs> ben, beautiful. She's a queen. Chill, Ben. Inappropriate. I mean, tell Lee. 399 years woman. <laughs> years woman. Let me read some comments here. <laughs> she know what the dog is doing? She knows the Coca-Cola recipe. Did we got there's got to be a way to I guess no. Oh, Briar cares. This, so they're making content from like a I think this is a re-upload. I think all these are re-uploads. Yeah, I'm sure, although they're getting so I remember views. seeing the original account. Look, there's another one. Her. She's 210 years old, and it's like some other extremely... I love that this account specializes in super old people content. But then also just like shitpost memes. <laughs> yeah, just but... kind of like peppered in there every once in a while. She is 210. The original account was Thai, I think. They had like a bunch of Thai. 
Golly, dude. It's just so weird. This is good content, they go. It's so Yo, she weird. looks... Oh, she has, like, a skin condition. I was gonna say she looks like an overripe banana, but that's insensitive. That is definitely an insensitive. What is she gonna do? She doesn't fucking... She can't... She she's gonna it, cancel she, she doesn't even know she's of where she is. <laughs> she is 210 years old. No, <laughs> she's not. Like... I guess it's just... Uh, she's a, old. Don't get me no, wrong. Oh, yeah, for sure. Nobody's lived that long. But they just captioned like that to just bait stupid people? The oldest yes, person in the world is 119. Yeah, exactly. Damn. This woman's seen it all. You know? Interesting. I know you're looking for haters. Wait. Wait. Mary? Oh yeah, bring call let them in. Where where's that? I want to talk to them. What are you seeing? Cameron just said he has an interesting call. Okay, let's talk to uh Owen. So Owen here. Okay. Hello. So so you were friends with Mary. She's the girl Mary Cosby's son. Mary's the girl with the church yep. where she has the church, right? Yes. Yep. Um Okay. I was best friends with her uh, son, uh, Robert. Give a little more content. You're talking about the Real Housewives. Real Housewives of, of Salt Lake City, City which yeah. me and Ela gave us a stunning yep. endorsement of. Right. Now, one of the exceptionally crazy women on that show is a woman named Mary. She has a, her own church, and one of the controversies is that she people are saying it's a cult, that she is basically saying that she is God. And one of okay. the guys uh, allegedly... Uh, uh, got a reverse mortgage on his house to donate 300000 to the church and, like, lost everything. So it's kind of a Scientology situation like that, allegedly. Yeah, okay. Um, and and um, she has it. And she kind has, of confirm that it was kind of, it is very culty, um, very much, but that's not an understatement. Yeah. It definitely looks like that in the show. So this is Owen, who was apparently friends with her son. Now, why are you calling in? Are you still friends with him? I am not, no. Uh, there was a massive fallout, um, which led to a lot of uh, fighting and um, no communication after the fighting. Hmm. So how do you... Um, but I was how pretty do you young when I was friends with him, so... How do you, as an 18-year-old uh, young man, have a, such a big falling out with a friend? Um, it was more... It more had to do with um, my parents. So, um... There was a lot of weird. So um, Utah, it's pretty racist um, there. A lot of the areas are very racist, and um, Mary would sort of. Um, she kind of had this sort of like racism kind of ingrained into her, I would say, and she would kind of pull out the racism card in certain scenarios, and then other ones she would kind of deserve it. Um, and she would do. She would call people racist when she like disliked what people were saying. Um, and she would do that to, like, my parents or to even me. Um, so I was playing uh, video games with um, Robert in, their, in the basement of the house, and I beat him, um, and then he slammed uh, my face with a, a, a Wii controller, and then I got called racist for saying that he did that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, he slam <laughs> so, so her son slammed your face for beating him? Yeah. And then they called you. Well, that's because she does that in the show. She she would call people yep. racist and then actually say yep. su she got busted for saying super racist stuff about Asians in the show, so that's good. Oh yeah, is she that's she's a white lady. No, she's black. Black. She's she's black. Oh, she's black. Okay, yeah. she's one of these people that says black people can't be racist. It's impossible for a black person yeah. to be racist. Got it. Got it. Got it. And yep. what? Mary, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Well, do you have any so dirt? This, this isn't the one that married her grandfather. <laughs> That's a this one? is the one that married her grandfather. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Uh, so, correction oh there, it God. wasn't her grandfather, it was a step-grandfather. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not her biological grandfather. Sure, fair enough. Yes. It, but it's yep. her step-grandfather. That makes it okay. So, yeah. <laughs> and so, is there, well, is it, do you have any gossip you want to share with us while, while you're on the phone here? What, give me some uh, dirt. <laughs> not, not particularly. No? Uh, Are you a Mormon? Um, I, not, and no, 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 no. Okay. Um, nope. Yeah, this um, is. Her. But I'm I'm not I'm not comfortable sharing information without knowing a lot more. Um, 
my parents know significantly more than I do, so I would love to call on the show another time when uh, my parents are available. Sure. Right. Let's get your parents yeah. on the phone. <laughs> Let's talk to yeah, mom no. and dad. Yeah, for sure. So is her is her son a little shit? Um, well, it's not. He fucking hits <laughs> yeah, his friend when he loses a video yeah. game. So. Well, he's probably angry because his mom is such a weirdo. You mm-hmm. know? I guess if you're married or step your stepdad was yeah, your step grandpa. <laughs> so wait, if if his step if his step grandpa is also his dad, so it's both his de- step dad. Oh wait, and I thought they were different. Oh, I didn't even put that together. Yeah, he has two titles. In oh the no. <laughs> I should say that all the information that I I know comes from me being friends with him in like late 2008, early 2009. So. Um, Give me Told something, bro. Well Give me something. <laughs> Come on, you called in. Work me a drop a nuggy on me. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that if I don't know. Right. Like, oh, bro, we got you on the line. You know, <laughs> you're coming to my house. You didn't say you know Mary, but you got nothing to say. Well, I'm going to drive by your house and tell you a little joke. <laughs> <laughs> you better look out, Owen. You better watch your back. We're playing the Godfather music. Like oh, this. Jesus. oh boy! I'll tell you a joke. Knock knock. Guess who's there? A gun in your mouth. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling. Uh, appreciate thanks, that. Thanks, Owen. We're yeah, gonna... get your, get your parents yeah, in, and let's have a whole sewing circle here. Okay, I want to hear everything. All right. Thanks, Owen. All right. You take care. God bless you. Knock, knock. <laughs> Guess who's there? A, play, a, a, a pair of plies, uh, pliers and a roll of duct tape. Kabish. <laughs> um, no haters today, man. It's all love, baby. It's all love, what baby. Do? What can you do when you're this likable, you know? Yeah, you're so likable. I'll show you likable. <laughs> But in the good, on the good news, at least we gave birth to the wise guy character. At least something positive could come out of this mm-hmm. debacle. Jeff, thank you. Ethan Pesci. Ethan, Ethan Pesci. Pesci. It's the bitches that'll get you. <laughs> That's what we should play instead of the Godfather music <laughs> when you're doing the... Uh, Wait, didn't play. we get a claim for that shit? We did. I don't think we can play it anymore. That song, they're claiming that. Like, these are out of control. We're the only person playing that song in 2022. You know, somebody on the stat, maybe it was Cam, pointed out that he's actually saying it's the pictures that'll get you. Hell no! I know, I was so shook it's when I heard that. It's the, the pictures that'll get you. Wait, play it again? Why the pictures? What does that mean? Bitch, 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 no, he's saying bitches. <laughs> I agree, but apparently Can you that's look up the real the lyric? lyric, yeah. Wait. Look, Look up the lyrics. Didn't we confirm that this that was a fake version and Yeah, maybe it's edited version? or something. Yeah, it's an yeah. Edi- edited version. That's also fake. Well we okay, we know he's not saying <laughs> eat out your ass. No, it, right. it, it just sounds like it. We figured that out a while ago. He's saying something no, like No, there's another version uh, of the song that's PG. What's the name of the song again? I Wise guy. Wise guy. Wise he guy. says paid Joe. out my ass. Yeah. Paid, paid out, out my ass. ass. You can find paid it out if you my go, ass. go down to Cheat out the girls like trash. <laughs> This is an old meme for people that don't know, but Joe Pesci put out this song about being a gangster. And it's so... I was a, it's so bad and misogynistic and weird. On three websites so far, it's the bitches that'll get you. Yeah, it's yeah. not pictures, Cameron. What, what is this propaganda? Uh, maybe like Love Some, maybe it's like the edited version. Did you hear an edited version, Cameron? I, I think he's screening calls, so he's not... Oh. Uh, it's the bitches that'll get you. Hmm. We'll really? have to we'll have to do some more research. Really, I do see that too. That it's it's saying on all these lyric sites says that, but uh, it says bitches or pictures. Bitch, uh, bitches. Yeah, it's, it's the bitches, bitches that'll get you. It's the, that, that, then that's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> that uh, this is that's just what it is. Eat out my ass. Eat out my ass. Now that. That sounds like it eat sounds out my ass. so much. Eat out my ass. Treat out the girls like trash. Someone say, "Can I please debate both Ethan and AB on their superhero takes?" Listen, I'm not passionate. I'll let you debate AB, but I'm not. I'm not. I don't care about superhero shit, dude. Don't debate me about it. <laughs> I don't care. 
But thank you for the twenty dollars, Nick. Oh, that was twenty bucks. Yeah. That's my opinion about superheroes. <laughs> All right, here's a here's a new trend on TikTok called Tiny TikTok. I think it's a joke, but Dan's taking it seriously. Well, no, I I I said that I agree that most of them are a joke, but it's that doesn't make it any less fucking disturbing. I can't play the music, but it's like I guess a tiny voice meme where it's like. Here. I don't. I think it's just some SoundCloud song, but I guess. Maybe no. I mean, you could upload it real fast and see if it gets claimed. Yeah. It's so hard to be such a tiny and small dentist. Sometimes when I'm filling a cavity, I fall into it and have to climb out. Sometimes I drop the teeth I pull because they're too heavy for my petite frame. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> see, I told you it's fucking weird, dude. Wait, hit him with the music real fast. Uh... So it's like it's like a fairy filter. I guess. I don't get it, man. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> well, it's especially confusing because it has a 1.5 million views, aka 6.4 million views, or I mean likes. What I said before, mm -hmm. likes. Yes. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see some primo examples. Okay. This one has even more likes. I'm so small and petite. This is me trying to drink a regular bottle of water. Okay. Let's see it, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I guess that one is funny. <laughs> Bro, bro, these are so fucking disturbing to me. I don't know what it is. No, it is, because it's like, I don't like the whole... Oh, fuck, no. James Charles. <laughs> See, I told you not to open that one before the show. Oh, hell no, dude. Hi, sisters. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just so little. It's so hard being so small and tiny and petite. Even simple tasks like sitting in a chair are sometimes <laughs> for my fragile little body. Yeah, see, don't talk like that. Like, you lost the right to be talking about <laughs> petite, tiny, fragile little body. This is what I'm saying, dude. Like, there is an I'm undercurrent like to these. The absolute youngest. I, I'm sure I'll, most most are just fucking around, but there's there's something... <laughs> When you got James jumping on the train. James, are you? Uh, what's up. your type? I'm not physically attracted to older guys. Mm. Right. Right. I would date like the absolute youngest. Right, the youngest possible. Okay, that's not a red flag. You're saying you would date the absolute youngest possible person. So embarrassing. <laughs> It is. You shouldn't ever say that publicly. <laughs> okay. Cool. I hate him. Hit I mean, me with the, You know what I haven't heard in way too long? Hit me with the womp womp womp. Oh no! That's not a womp womp. Yeah. There it is. When, <laughs> these are all super popular, man. This one has half a million likes. When you were born three seconds ago and find out an adult wolf has a crush on you? The fuck do you Adult wolf, man. You wanna... What? What? What does that mean? Who's the adult wolf has a crush on a newborn baby? Oh, what's the context? The top comment is, I literally don't understand this. <laughs> oh, is it, a, is it a Twilight thing? I guess it's a Can Twilight. Can you decipher this, AB? When help you were born, us, three, you were born three seconds ago and find out an adult wolf man has a crush on you. Oh, okay. So, yeah, because... Like possibly movies. because I don't know is this a spoiler can I spoil Twilight has yes. it been out long it's, enough? It's, been, it's been over 10 years I think we're the getting. wolf character Jacob imprints on Edward and Bella's daughter he can't control who he imprints on but he imprints on her what does imprint mean like he's forever uh, this, I don't know Lena how do I how do I describe imprint like eternally bound to her 
He's grooming like her. Sexually? Yeah, he's grooming her. Is what it sounds like. Lena has a mic. Like, now. is he wants to mate with her, or like he just wants to be her godfather? Well, in the movie, he's protective of her, but she ages really fast, and Edward has a future, uh, a vision of them in the future together. So, take that as you will. How the fuck do you actually like this movie, dude? Dude, dude the fucking... movies are so. This sounds like the so most bad. disgusting. <laughs> you know that shit's fucking stupid. weird. No, it's like it's so bad that like it's good. No, don't don't. And I've always don't said that. that. I've always said that. What do you mean? What? <laughs> what do you think I'm like? I think you. Wait, love... we have evidence to the contrary. Zach, play it. I like the Twilight movies. Yeah. Yeah. Lena. Does he like it because it's bad or because he likes it? Are, are you talking about Batman? No, I'm talking about Twilight. No, I mean, I, I think he enjoys uh, both aspects of it. There's good and bad. Mm. She the says, story, I mean, is, is kind of good. She says the story's good. Good job, babe. Taught her how to be a politician. <laughs> yeah, she kind of gave an on answer. She says he likes the good <laughs> and the bad. Some things are good, some things are bad. She never sells you out. She doesn't. She's the best. She loyal. She is loyal. <laughs> Lena's loyal. <laughs> you had sold me out in a heartbeat. <laughs> Expect nothing less, though. Okay, well, tiny talk is pretty weird, guys. I gotta say. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Here's some more. We have a lot of tiny talk, you guys. So this is just. Uh, someone put me in a seatbelt. Is this not a kid, or is that just the filter? I hate being tiny and petite. Every time I fart, I bounce from my seat, literally defying gravity. <laughs> so this one is funny. One point eight million. Is he going to fart for us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> so he's small, but his farts are normal size. I guess, or he's just so lightweight that a little... that it's. But his fart rise. would be small, too, then. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. He's got human-sized he's, farts, he's but just he's... All, uh, he's all intestines, lower intestines. <laughs> do you guys have an idea for me? Should I do a petite... A petite talk? talk? A petite talk What's right now? What's the filter? Do you... Do you know the, what filter they're all using to look like that? I can find it. Quick. Oh, it's really the first thing on my... It popped right up? Oh, well, because your account's... No, wait, it's a different account. They're listening, account, dude. It? Wait, it just says the song. Hey, hang on. I don't, I'm not seeing the filter. Like, is it not available for me? Why am I not seeing the filter? I don't know. I don't know anything about how TikTok works. Oh. Anime eyes. Is it anime eyes? Seems possible. I'm just so small and petite. I hope James Charles doesn't message me. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, ready. <laughs> oh, That's no. disturbing. <laughs> okay. All right, post it so we can pull it up and show the audience. I am just so small and petite. I hope... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know TikTok will remove it because they like protect them. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah, really sad. I hope James Charles. Really sad. Dude, you're gonna get sister sniped. <laughs> I don't want you to get banned on TikTok. I'm wow, fucking. sister snapped. Free speech, baby. <laughs> what the fuck was I'm this I'm just one? so small and petite. I hope James Charles doesn't see this and message me. I somehow missed. I missed this saga. Oh, you missed that one. I didn't see this one. Go ahead, play it. <laughs> And your newborn blast yellow diarrhea all over your clean bed sheets at 4 a.m. You gotta play the sound. What's the matter? Just hay fever. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that's from. All right, guys. Live. It's all happening, my friends. What's up? I am now part of a trend, viral. You're going viral, baby. Viral trend. You're a small little, you're a small little guy. All right, small bean small TikTok is live, baby. Watch mm. out. I'm not yeah. seeing it. I just posted it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. You're so fucking blacklisted. No, they haven't been, they haven't been. I'm about to get blacklisted. <laughs> we didn't. They, did you learn your lesson, old man? Oh, I see it. You see it? Oh, I, there I it give is. it five minutes. 
Here we go. <laughs> God, this fuck is scary. <laughs> There's a part where my eyes get all... Yeah, they like glitch out. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah right that's, there. That's disturbing. You have like an inner eyelid. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's this really creepy filter on TikTok that makes pictures come alive, and it's the oh yeah. Crazy, yeah have you seen it? It's, yeah. it's wild. I mean, it's cool. It is. It is weird though, for sure. <laughs> so Mr. Beast did this Willy Wonka shit where he like is selling candy bars, and there's an actually an actual gold ticket in them. Mm -hmm. And apparently, if you get the gold ticket, you get a chocolate factory. Which means he's like, I'll just give you half a million bucks because I don't think anyone wants a chocolate factory. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a lot to take on and, like, manage. Uh, Not a very good prize. So, people are accusing him of, of, of scamming. Mr. Beast launched his own candy bar that allows you to enter a sweepstake. Oh, he's giving over a million dollars in prizes. Here, let's watch the video, I guess. I just launched a chocolate bar and 10 random people that buy it will be flown down to compete in a video from my chocolate factory. It comes in three different flavors, original, almond, and my favorite crunch. The best part is all our bars are made with simple, high quality ingredients. On top of that, we're also giving away over a million dollars in prizes and offerings like sea -Doo, Super 73, Custom PCs, Beats by Dre's, Teslas, and also cash. Go to Feastables.com and order some Beast Bars right now. They taste amazing and you can win some money. Show them how. Peel, scan, type. Wait, is is that his brand, Feastable? I feel like I've seen that before. It's a good brand name. Is that all him? Yeah. Really, Feastable. It's a great name. What's on his website? Yeah, they seem to have gone all in on that. I find it interesting. Like, it just... Oh, my God. Feastable. How has nobody made use that name already? Bro, I can't do this. <laughs> the link to the candy bar website is in the, the dog. Feastable. Feastables. Please let just stay. I don't know why this keyboard the keys are all crazy. Now it says it can't load. Feast tables. Feast of, oh my god, I can't type on this keyboard, you guys. I sent in Discord. Feastable or with an S or what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, we made it, guys. So it's just chocolate. He doesn't have any other Feastables yet. Chocolate? It's kind of an interesting vertical to get into. You know? So he's saying, uh, other creators have redeemed their codes into their content. However, due to low chances of winning prizes, Feastable patrons began to speculate whether or not the sweepstakes are rigged. That seems unlikely, doesn't it? Yeah, who's, it who's speculating that? Dextero, Dextero talked with Feastable's head of production and growth, Ben Acott. To help clarify why people seem to be losing so frequently. I mean, you're entering like an insane sweepstake. What do you expect? It's a chocolate. You're buying chocolate, you know? That's why you should be buying it, not to win. Feastables is a number game of pure chance. Customers have started claiming that the sweepstakes are rigged. Uh, because they didn't win? Because they, di they bought 100 chocolate bars and got nothing. You got 100 chocolate bars. Eat the chocolate. You just want you're buying it. Uh, ACOT explains that sweepstakes are impossible to hack or rig. Winning a prize is pure chance, and the astronomical number of bars and codes redeemed make it highly unlikely you'll win. Of the 1 million prize pool, over 440,000 prizes have been distributed. 35,000 people have received prizes ranging from merch, candy bar, Beast Burger codes, and Beats by Dre, and 10,000 in cash. Millions of bars sold in the last five weeks. Damn, boy. This man is selling chocolate like... What isn't he selling? That's true. He's putting Willy Wonka to shame, dude. We should buy some. I'd try it. Yeah. 
Sims good. Mr. Beast chocolate. I mean, it's just a chocolate bar. How could it be? I mean, I've had chocolate. I've had cho a billion chocolate bars. You know what I mean? Well, you might win. That's the fun part. <laughs> That'd right. be awesome. People would be so sketched out <laughs> by one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's buy some of those chocolate bars. Let's buy like a thousand of them. <laughs> what are you working for, it. Mr. Beast? Or something? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, like? I know. What the hell? What kind of? I want to win, you dog. I want to gamble. Come on. <laughs> the biggest prize of all is uh, grab is one of ten spots in an upcoming Mr. Beast video. All ten competitors randomly selected via feastable sweepstakes and will compete to own Mr. Beast Chocolate Factory. Dude, this man is a genius. I can't even deal with his like marketing. His the the powerhouse of whatever the fuck is going on in his life. He has an episode on Rogan that's dropping today. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I wonder how that'll go. I wonder if it's going to be a lot of like. So you make money on YouTube. How do you make money on YouTube? That's it, it is kind of hard to envision what they're gonna. I'm talk really about. curious to see if Rogan can connect with them in a meaningful way. Right. Oh, that Color, gets dude. my dick hard. <laughs> oh. Okay. You know? Oh, man. I really wanted to talk about... Ty Lopez is getting absolutely eviscerated online <laughs> for his NFT schemes. Knowledge. Knowledge. I don't... I haven't really dug into it, but I just see people... He, I see him trending on Twitter of all the crypto bros just absolutely eviscerating him. Yeah. Crypto Twitter is calling out Ty Lopez for his original garage. Is that really what he's calling it? Yep. Here in my garage. <laughs> NFT influencers have called out the project for giving the industry a bad name. What? Ty Lopez? Former Coinboys engineer revealed a shocking fact about the project's smart contract. According to screenshots he shared, the project immediately siphons out the funds into the team members' wallets whenever a user mints an NFT. Dude, that's that's some knowledge, bro. He's got knowledge. So it's like an automatic rug pull. Right. <laughs> lose, lose. Cool. But it's an NFT. What does it matter if he keeps the money in his wallet? Shouldn't it? I mean, it's not a crypto. It doesn't, you know what I mean? It depends what the crypto people or the NFT people has promised to do with the money. So sometimes NFT people promise to reinvest it in marketing and stuff. Hmm. Well, in his case... He's trying to do that whole shtick where it's like, if you have the NFT, you can uh, come to my exclusive hotel that is only for holders of the NFTs uh. and and like the and like the Gary V thing, you know, like the restaurant or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Ty Lopez turned into a knockoff Ty Lopez. <laughs> he's a dollar store Ty Lopez now. <laughs> Gary V, he's got a. Shit. He's got to be mad at Gary V. Gary V. kind of took his whole shtick and just Definitely. refined it. Definitely, Gary V. dominated the space, man. Yeah. But I saw one where one of the prizes for Ty Lopez NFT was you pay. I think the NFT cost fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and then the prize is you get to play Ty Lopez one on one basketball for a chance to win ten thousand dollars if you win. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Where's that video of him saying he crashed the blockchain? I saw everyone goofing on him for that, A.B. He crashed it. He goes, yo, we crashed the blockchain. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Dude, I don't understand this, though. Like, genuinely, I, I just, what are we talking about? It says, the, here's the benefits. The NF, if you have owned one of these NFTs, it allows you to hang out with Ty Lopez while everybody's running to <laughs> for that opportunity. The lineup includes things like getting his WhatsApp number, watching a movie with him, shadowing him in his office. Watching so in a way, movie. it's similar to other person. What the? Who wants to do any of that shit, Ty? Yo, if you buy my NFT, you can get me coffee for a day. You can get my food for me. Here's Ty Lopez saying they crashed the uh, blockchain. Which I don't think you can crash the blockchain, especially we not crashed his. Crashed the whole damn blockchain in like four. <laughs> took four minutes to crash it, and slowed it down completely. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Ty Lopez is a dollar store. Ty Lopez these days. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean the blockchain is like a behemoth of computers across the world. You can't. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm no expert, but something tells me that that doesn't. Well, especially make him. Any sense. So this from, guy's from selling like twenty things. Like <laughs> Yo, it. we slowed the block, James. Like what? Whoa, that was insane. <laughs> so I guess yeah. Th- is this contradictory to what he promised? It says it's immediately siphons out the funds when you mint it. Um, obviously I don't read code, so I'm just gonna trust him on that one. You know. More benefits include early mint for whitelist members started yesterday, and the project has already pulled uh, $97,000 in secondary trade volume. Really? So, so people are actually buying this crap? Boom, baby! Maybe. Maybe somebody's buying this crap. So wait, or... here's the stats for his whole, the OG Original Garage Social Club by Ty Lopez. So the full trade volume... Is 105 ETH. So what does that come out to? Well, it's, it's like 250,000. Yeah, yeah, I guess around that, or give or take, depending on what ETH is trading at right now. Man, this is, people just oh, people are just buying shit, man. It's the weirdest thing. Sometimes with these things, though, there's a term for it um, because everything with crypto has to have like some weird alternate phrase. But we're basically the people making it buy it themselves in order to make it seem like there's more hype for it than there actually is. Yeah. Don't know if that's what actually what he's doing, but that's a pretty common tactic with these these NFT projects of like to drive up the price is they basically just buy and pass them back and forth between their own accounts for more and more money. So it it seems like whoa, this is like a hot commodity. Everybody wants this thing. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, here's some you can see what the activity is though. Sure. 22 minutes ago, this guy dropped $3,500 for a movie with Ty and friends. By the way, it seems like he's just selling his courses via the blockchain. That doesn't seem that bad. Movie with Ty. What happens if you... Why would you resell that, though? Why would that have resale value? Why would you buy it in the first place? OG Mentor Accelerating Pass. People are buying that. OG NFT Hotel, baby. Yeah, right. Hotel, restaurant, and club membership. And that was a thousand bucks. So, mm-hmm. yo, the NFT hotel, bro. That's going to be so dope. It's going to be on an island in uh, Fiji or whatever the fuck. I heard it's like underwater. <laughs> <laughs> and like, there's like sharks and freaking whales come and say goodnight to you. Yo, that's sick. Dude, it's crazy. NFT hotel, man. Well funded. It looks like they have a thousand dollars funded for that one so far. So hey. it's gonna be awesome. That's enough to make a hotel. This mentorship pass is going is uh, selling very well. But what's the resale value? What am I missing about this? That crypto shit. Well, you know, there's he's just selling like a lot, guys. Limited amount of. Uh hours in the day for Ty Lopez to hang out with you and watch movies and you know when demand demand for that runs out of control that price that's it's going to the moon no but can you resell it for a buck and then he has to hang out with them like what does that mean yeah I mean I guess theoretically but every time it resells he's got to hang out with someone it doesn't make sense Right, it seems like the hangout is probably just a one-time thing. Then why the so, fuck would you want to resell it? Listen, man, you're asking a lot for people to have actually thought through these things. That's that's not I'm, I, that's not what you do with NFTs. <laughs> I have a feeling there's an answer to my questions. Man, this is wild, dude. People are just buying this shit. I don't know what's wrong with You want to buy one? You should buy one and see what you get. <laughs> Go I don't think out. I need to pay him to hang out with them. Go watch sure a movie with Ty. Pretty sure he would readily come talk to me. There's the, one movie per year. One movie per year. One meeting per year. Yeah. So it's like a timeshare. So you buy it, <laughs> and then he's got to honor the meeting. Yeah, so if it was used before you buy it, you'll have to wait a year. You have to wait for though, the next year. Okay. Even though you okay. it. That's okay. interesting. Yeah. I love the idea that Ty becomes just so desirable that these these NFTs are gonna become so worth uh, so valuable over time. Mm-hmm. 
Yo, you get to meet with Ty Lopez this year? Bro, I'll pay you a million bucks for that. Do you get to pick the movie, or how does it work? Hell no. <laughs> Ty picks. Yeah. You no. can watch maximum two hours worth of a movie. Max two hours, <laughs> <Yeah>. fucker. <laughs> You're getting cut off. They actually specify that yeah. in the rules. He says you can join him to watch a two-hour mo- two hour movie. Why would you... So if he's your mentor, why the fuck would you want to sit quietly and watch yeah, a like, movie? What, do you, what does that accomplish? Oh, that's the dumbest thing. Don't you want to talk to him? I just want to be in your presence, dude. Ugh. God, it's so valuable. The, what's really going to happen is these things are going to become worthless, and then Ty Lopez can really know what an utter piece of shit he is. He's like, yo, people won't pay 10 bucks to hang out with me? I wonder if all those lawyers will be there for the hangout. Mm-hmm. Like in your H3 mm-hmm. video. I wonder if they own a token, though, because... They're there with a stopwatch to make it. <laughs> right. If All right. the movie's over two hours, Go ahead. <laughs> they just cut it off. And don't even finish Thanks the movie. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> We're going to have to uh, send you out on your way. <laughs> Please enjoy this seat. It turns into a cartoon catapult. It shoots <laughs> it you out of the house you. when the timer uh, ends. <laughs> if, you, if you look at the long run, he gets paid very little per hour. If he, he has to watch a two-hour movie every year, forever. Right. Um, there's several on here, though. There's probably like... Right, yeah. So he gets like 2.5K <laughs> one that's gonna time. Go down. That's going to go down. So that's 1K an hour every year. And if it goes more than a year, it's like 500 an hour. Right, it keeps going down. How much it's it's going to go down. <laughs> yeah, so it's He's going to stop honoring that next year. I don't think he'll do it uh, more than once. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think Ty genuinely thinks that's going to go up to like a million bucks. Well, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe it will. I mean, that's, that's a valuable two hours right there. Hey, hey, you're in the movie theater. Hey, I wanted to ask you about... Shh. Shh I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> no talking in the theater. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> hey, I wanted to ask you about that. <laughs> oh, Ty Lopez NFT collection gives access to the exclusive Mentor Social Club and claims to provide a lot of benefits, like sitting in a dark theater and not being able to talk. Ty is also giving a chance to win a board eight. Oh, he's like, yo, if you buy my shit, you can buy an actually, but you can might <laughs> you buy an actually, actually valuable might be one. Worth some money. You might win a board ape to early holders. No way. <laughs> Uh, it's specified on the NFT that you are responsible to cover all travels, food, and ac- accommodations. So you got to pay for the food and stuff. Yo, you, yo, you want some popcorn? <laughs> all right, that's like, what, eight bucks? So <laughs> I have a square. You can just run your card. Oh, my God. <laughs> so funny. Hey, this is uh, some NFT guy. Hey, uh, Ty Lopez, legit question. Why would I pay thirty to $40,000 to watch a movie with you? Or at eighty to ninety thousand for WhatsApp. Who do you think you are? You def have a shady reputation, and doing this only adds more fuel to the fire. I respect anyone wanting to add value to NFTs, but this is not the way. Well, it's it really says not who. that different than what most of these guys. Are Wait, doing. price is forty five ETH. One on one shadow tie in his pr- in in person at his office. Forty five ETH. How much is that? That'd be a lot. I mean, ETH right now is. ETH price. It is about 2500 just a little under. It's uh, 113k. Wait, to, fall, my... to be his intern. To be his unpaid intern. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is my favorite. One-on-one Michelin star restaurant with Ty. But according to the terms and service, you got to pay for the meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. One-on-one WhatsApp access to Ty. Can you imagine? Those conversations be like, you know, leave you on read for a day. <laughs> he has a 30 section, uh, what's it called? Like, pay, uh, terms of service. So I'm sure in this terms of service, service he can, like, deny any, any, whatever. Like, try to look for some nuggies in there. Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> Here, how about this? One on one private jet trip with Ty. Where to where? To do what? Just fly <laughs> on an airplane? Do I have to pay for my ticket? Just circle around the airport. Yeah, airport like, town. what are you talking about? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, I got to see the... Pre- Someone sent me this page. I want to see the... 
all the benefits. <laughs> Somebody in the chat suggested a, you get a one-on-one -on -one tickle fight with Ty. <laughs> That'd be worth go. more than some of the things he's actually offering. I mean, is this is this a desperation play? Is his whole like mentorship program falling off? You know, I have to. It assume. seems a little desperate. I I think he just wants to because he sees how much money Gary V is making, right? And I think he just wants a piece of the piece of the pie. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Yo. A one-on-one -on -one pecking session with Ty. See, these are better ideas than what he came up with. Our chat's coming up with some... Give Ty a prostate exam. Yeah. <clears throat> or Ty could give you a prostate exam. Um, OriginalGarage.com. Let me check out this. I love these NFT projects, man. These will go down in history. Yeah, thank you. Let's see what Ty's got for us. Okay, here we go. This is exciting. Let's go from high, high to low. Let's see the most valuable ones. Accelerator pass, 30 ETH. Who's, what the fuck are you talking about? Play basketball. Now, why the fuck would I pay 20 ETH to play basketball with some middle-aged little goon? Why play bat? Don't you want to learn from him? Why would you want to play bat? He's not Shaq. 50 grand to shoot some hoops with the... Uh... Yeah, that's what I was I saying, and you can win 10,000 if you beat him. All right. At horse. That's awesome. Not <laughs> even basketball. <laughs> By the way, they only created two NFT graphics, too. Just like a gold card and a silver card. Yeah. So if I made one of these, what do you think I could, like, if I, someone was like, uh, play uh, Counter-Strike with Ethan for... Five hours. Can you imagine? I'll fucking just so over it by then. <laughs> How much do you think someone would pay for that? A lot Five more hours of gaming with Ethan. A lot more than Ty Lopez. Oh, yeah? AB be the top bidder. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think you're worth a lot more than Ty Lopez. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that, though. It's embarrassing. It's humiliating. Also, it's like just icky to make a fan pay to hang out with you. It's like, all right, so what do you want to do now, kid? That's so awkward. Thanks for the 100000 What the fuck you want to do with me now? All right, well, get get the fuck out. Now that you think we're friends, I'll never yeah. talk to you again. Well, right. time's up. You got an Time for you time's to go. up. Push on out. <laughs> I'm going to head upstairs. All right, I'll, like, I'll act super friendly and like we're having a good time. And then once the timer expires, I just smile goes off my face and I just leave. Without saying a word. And then someone else comes in and says, thank you for enjoying Thank you. The There's the door? Yeah. You should call yourself an Uber. Yeah, we, we don't provide the uh, tr transportation, so. It says, here's section 21. We will not be liable for any delay or failure to perform our obligations under these NFT terms if such delay is due to any circumstance beyond our reasonable control. Like what? Anything? Ty got a flat tire. <laughs> they listed a couple here, but it's basically like pandemic, for example, is in there. Oh, well, that's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Launched during a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't fulfill any of these, you guys. Oh, man. I can't get on a jet with you. We're in a pandemic. Somebody uh, in a dono just said, um, I am currently taking bets on how long before Ryan Kavanaugh enters the NFT scam space. He already did. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, they've been stealing. Boy, art. do I have news for you. Yeah. Check out Triller NFT. Ryan Kavanaugh is a force of nature. All right, here, let's talk to, I have a hater on the, on the line. We have a few. So John says he used to be a fan of me during humongous days. And now I drive him crazy because I've gone too far in the other direction. John, what do you mean I've gone in the other direction? What do you mean by that? Uh, first of all, what's up? This hey, is kind of surreal. Thanks for calling. Um, Thank you yeah. for calling. You know, you, uh, I'm going to, I, I literally. <coughs> Peterson, you sorry. got it so wrong. Sometimes. Wait, sorry. Sorry, and you cut off. You, you kind of cut, you cut out for a few you, All I heard there. was Peterson, so maybe. <laughs> The, the, the one to start. Yeah, 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 you heard right. Okay, so this is my thing. Like, uh, I'm from Canada, Ontario. So, 
I am not a Jordan Peterson fan. I promise you that. Okay. But he, he is not pro-conversion therapy. The okay. way you framed that was so gutless, and it's the way you oh. attack the right. Like, the way you okay. attack the right and say they half truth it, you totally did that. Okay. Because that whole thing is about, I mean, up here we're a little different. Conservatives up here aren't crazy assholes. I got to mm-hmm. say it, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm a bit of a conservative, certainly liberally minded, but, you know, it's about value, value grandstanding and the fact that our, you know, our country's going through some stuff right now. It's all, think- it's not a thing that happens here. So, so it was an empty piece of legislation that the media just goes, oh, we love it. We love it. And you, you, just so you know, like you're doing the same thing you hate to see the right do. And okay. that fucking kills me. Because you used to be in the center. You really did. Like your humongous stuff, Looking calling up, out, you know, like uh, white faith, for instance. Like you were on the right track, and in the last couple of years, you've gone just completely to the left. So you're disappointed that I've gone to the left, basically. So, so and may, I, may I ask to clarify? No, you, I'm disappointed in the hypocrisy. Hold on, hold on a second. You are saying that what is, was incorrect about Ethan dunking on Jordan Peterson's tweet, here it is right now, conversion therapy, more moral grandstanding from the juvenile OM, Justin Trudeau, that conversion therapy wasn't a thing that even happened in Canada. So by him saying that it's banned now, he was just trying to score points. Is that, am I understanding that correctly? 100% Dan, as you usually do. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I understood the argument because I was a little confused for a second. No, so, like I, I just mean it. No, like Dan, your take, usually I'm fully on board with. Lately, Ethan, it's hard to listen to you sometimes, man. They'll love you. Well, it's interesting because like, I, I consider myself you know, significantly more left than, than Ethan. You know that, right? Are you going somewhere, Dan, with that? You know what's funny? With the an analysis? Well, so wait, sorry. I, I, I well, I, I'm, I was just trying to correctly... I wanted to understand his argument correctly uh, uh, that that he's saying you, that you got it conversion that therapy correct. wasn't a thing in canada and so jordan peterson no, calling it out this? was just him saying that justin trudeau was, so was virtue so, okay guys so you're saying there was no conversion therapy in the whole country of canada nowhere it didn't exist. I can't. Obviously, I can't speak to that. Allegedly, 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 I can't. Speak so to you're that, saying right, to me right so now? Be some Catholic backyard. You're telling me that Justin Trudeau coming out and saying conversion therapy is a bad thing. We're saying it now. We're yeah, say- it was a joke. It's a fucking fraud. Like it's just, Why it's does that bother you? It was Why? illegal here in. Why does it bother you that that okay, Justin okay. Trudeau is making that statement? I, that's not what bothered me. It bothered me that you used the same tactic. No, 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 no. Tell me what bothered you about what Justin right Trudeau doing. said first. Trudeau, Trudeau makes a big deal out of these things. Like, for instance, indigenous schools, indigenous water supply. Guess what? There's no water still. Guess what? You know, what just, bothered you, you about what he understand. said about conversion therapy? What did Trudeau say? Sorry, I, I, I lost you for a second there. What bothered you about what Justin Trudeau said about banning <laughs> conversion therapy? I don't know. Our healthcare system's a fucking joke. What bothered no you about... Not, you're not answering my question. Why do you keep talking about other, other things. things? There's bigger, more important things going on. Oh, There's so he can't talk about on. one a, thing and not care about others? So your point is that because Justin no, Trudeau said that it. conversion there... Now, let me talk. You called in. You wanted to... You wanted I'm to sorry, si- Ethan. You're right. I'm, I'm okay, sorry. now let me you're talk. Right. I want to I want to stick to one thing. Thank you. Now, your point is conversion therapy, a disgusting practice which tells people that gay people are born wrong and they need to be fixed. Justin Trudeau saying that it's now banned in Canada is, makes you disgusted because there's more important things to address. Did I, did I understand your point correctly? No. Okay, then what bothered no, you about this tweet? Me. It's you that bothers me, Ethan. No, you it's said you watching you dance around 
the fact you know nothing about what's going on up here. So what did I get wrong? Peterson's pro-conversion therapy. He is not pro-conversion therapy. No one in Canada is. Oh, no, no oh, one oh, okay, so shit. the whole country of Canada, there's not one person <laughs> in favor of conversion okay, therapy. I'm generalizing, obviously. Obviously, I'm generalizing. Look. Okay, so it's, it's, let's, let's just, you said Justin Trudeau made you sick with this tweet. Did you not? No. Did, you made me sick. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. Okay. I didn't care about what Trudeau tweets. Okay. It was the fact that you jumped on Peterson, okay. and you're like, you put words in his mouth, and you criticize the right okay. for doing that all okay. the time, okay. Ethan. Okay. That's all so, I'm trying to say to you. Let's just work this one piece at a time. So you have no problem with Justin okay. Trudeau said, okay? You think that what Justin no. Trudeau said is good. We're banning conversion therapy. Great. I think it was a value standing. I do, I do think it was. I know it was. That's how he's gotten elected here three elections in a row, you know? I worked on Parliament Hill straight up. This is... This is Real stuff okay, here. So, do, so okay, so you're not you're kind of tiptoeing around if you have a problem with this tweet or not. You say not. I'm just going to take your word for it. Okay. So I now think it's a waste of time. I think it's a waste of time to tweet it. That's that'd be my opinion. God forbid on it. he make a like, tweet. Make, what a way, What a colossal waste of time. He could have. Uh, he could have. Gee, in that ten seconds, what he could have done so much for the country. To, to make a statement and say we are against conversion therapy, a horrendous homophobic practice. Shame on Justin Trudeau for putting his neck out there and saying that. He could have been, uh, God, he could have, uh, he could have, what could he have done with that 10 seconds? It's unbelievable. Okay, so anyway, you take that, you, you, you support his Justin Trudeau. So now let's move on to Jordan Peterson, okay? Ah, excuse me, I just choked a goat. <laughs> I'm related. Went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> Sorry, stand, stand by, John. So Jordan Peterson says, quote, conversion therapy, more moral grandstanding from our juvenile, I don't know what the fuck OM is, but premise. what is OM? I mean, I know he's the oh, PM. Sorry, I don't know if I got cut off there or if you, or if you hung up on me, but it, either way, I understand. I hate that I'm this hostile, just so you know. Go respect the hell out of you. Just want to say that. No, why? You can't hear me? No, why? You can't hear me? I can hear myself. No, I can hear you now. Okay. I can hear you. So let's talk can you about... you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can, I hear, can you. hear you. now. All right, so let's talk about Jordan's tweet now. He says, quote, okay. conversion therapy, and he puts it in quotation marks, which implies, like, it's not a real thing. That's what air quotes mean, right? He's got to mute his stream. Yeah, you 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 you, you got to mute your stream, your stream, buddy. The audio's off. Okay, I just I closed my computer. It's not it's not even on. But uh, sorry about that, guys. Here. All good. It's all good. Now it's better. Should be. Okay. So he Should says. Okay. And I can still hear. Are you on speakerphone? No, I'm just on on my phone. Maybe I'll turn it down a bit. So it says, "Quote conversion therapy." I didn't hear the echo before. Are you doing something? You got speaker? You got something open? I just muted it while you're speaking. That, that'll that solve it while I'm trying to figure out why that's happening. Quote, conversion therapy. Now, the the quotations makes... He's, he's basically downplaying the seriousness of conversion therapy. More moral grandstanding from our juvenile president, Justin Trudeau. Now explain why what Jordan Peterson did here is uh is good. Tell me why I am wrong to criticize this man. You aren't wrong to criticize. Fundamentally, I'm on the same page with you. It is disgusting. What you did wrong, Ethan, is you did the same thing Tucker Carlson would do, which is you were lazy and you just said, oh. He's Jordan Peterson. He's, he's obviously anti-gay. He's obviously this. It wasn't about that. It was about, you know, the political divide in Canada that's going on that, frankly, you probably have no understanding of, right? So he, so tell me oh. what he meant then, because he has conversion therapy in quotes. Is it moral grandstanding to be against conversion therapy? Because I don't think so. I think that's a good, that's a good place to be. That's not moral grandstanding. That's like, Good standing. Is it redundant? 
Okay, let's say, I mean, does it not bug you? Let's put it this way. Does it mean, not bug you? We, isn't that like being like, right? isn't that being like, yo, we just passed the Freedom to Vote Act because we think that uh, black neighborhoods should same, have the same access to voting as affluent neighborhoods. You go, oh, nice moral grandstanding, caring about people voting. I don't see the problem with saying something that's objectively good, that there's plenty of fucking people in the world that need to hear. Are you telling me there's no homophobes in Canada right now? Are there homophobic people in Canada? Of course. There is. So what yeah, the fuck sure. is wrong with the head of state saying we support gay people's right to exist? Nothing, Ethan. I was telling you what. So how is that wrong. moral grandstanding then? I, it's, it is still moral grandstanding because that's how he is elected here. I don't know if you understand the politics up here. Oh, okay. So that's saying good very, things very is liberal. moral grandstanding. There's only been four conservative governments in the history of Canada, like straight up. Four majorities, anyways. Anyways, like I'm telling you, people here are annoyed by Trudeau. He's annoying. He is little Mr. Goody Two Shoe. I love everything. It's, it's, he does, meanwhile, our economy is so fucked. Our healthcare system can't handle 30 people per hospital. It's, it's a joke. And we're doing huge press conferences about something that's already illegal. It's just redundant. It's Curs just redundant. So you're telling me, so was conversion opinion. therapy illegal opinion, before though. this bill was passed? Okay, so I, I've been looking up some stuff, and I found an article from 2020 in the Vancouver Sun. I, I don't know anything about the Vancouver Sun. I don't know if that's considered a, a reputable... Uh, newspaper or anything like that, that a, a study found um, that in 2020 that uh, conversion therapy was still commonly used in Canada. Uh, let's see. Well, hold on. This guy says that it didn't exist in the whole country. Uh, I mean, again, I, I don't know what, about the Vancouver Sun. I can't speak to how reputable this is. I was just doing some initial Googling about, you know, stats of conversion therapy in Canada. But uh, as of a few years ago, it did appear to be a thing that was still in practice in some parts of Canada. Well, that's impossible, right, John? Or whatever. Yeah, John. <laughs> All right. You got me. You got me. I embellished. I, I you know. Oh, what did, to so say didn't you just do what Tucker illegal. Carlson does? It's already didn't illegal you call in, in to say that I embellish and that I'm a part of the media gotcha, whatever? But you just called in and embellished and said conversion therapy doesn't exist, therefore it's moral grandstanding. So going back well, to we, the we original part, do you we think it's moral grandstanding to fucking ban conversion therapy, one of the most disgusting homophobic acts that can be done on gay people. Agreed. Okay, agree. so what's the it's fucking problem? In Ontario already. By the way, I never said Jordan Pearson hates gay people. I said he says conversion therapy is moral grandstanding, which is verbatim what he said. No, you said he's pro conversion therapy. Look it up. It's in one of your Blair White bits. Well, I'm sure you I did. I watch say you a that. lot, dude. I'm a huge fan. Like, just so you know, like, I'm, I, it's crazy. I'm arguing with you this hard right now, but okay. I am a huge fan. Okay, thank you. Maybe but, I did say like, that. I don't remember. Out. It's possible, but like, he's not against it. It doesn't sound like he's against it. Like, why the fuck would he choose this tweet to go? Oh, moral grandstanding. Well, and what I think is interesting is, uh, I would think that there, this point about it being moral grandstanding would make more sense. If he was just making a tweet, making a generalized statement of like, conversion therapy is wrong and we need to do something about it. Right. But that's not what the tweet is. It's actually saying an announcement that it's an ofi official, they passed a bill banning it. I think that it's, I don't think it, you can really justifiably call that moral grandstanding if you're actually taking an action well, in this case. Well, you it know was a I waste mean? of time, the tweet. He could have, he could have uh, taken one step. He could have taken a piss instead. <laughs> There's so many use, so more many useful things, done things with, that with this second. time than make a tweet yeah, I, about I, a law that just passed. I think the argument it. falls apart when, when, when there actually is some, some uh, concrete action that's been taken against uh, conversion therapy. Can I ask you a question, John? Do you case? think that this tweet by Jordan Peterson was proper? Do you think this was the right time to accuse Justin Trudeau, as much as he hates him, as Peterson, moral grandstanding? I'm not a Jordan Peterson fan, but I... I am a fan of you, Ethan, and I expected you at a, and maybe it's not fair, higher, higher level. Because this is what you get mad at, and this is what I love. You call conservatives that are 
spewing bullshit and it's like lazy, right? But it's also lazy for some of the stuff that the left does, right? And that's all I'm trying to say. I think you used to nail it when you were more center. And that's what this call is all about. Right. Right. And, and in what, general, I I'm find that the make, people who... I'm not trying to, you know, you know what I'm, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to say conversion, like, anyways. I find that the people you know. who are uh, disillusioned with me or whatever, who can't, are people who feel like I used to represent their ideas better. And now that I've kind of come out more as a liberal and against this kind of shit, that uh, people feel like I'm not one of them anymore. And, that, and I feel like you're embodying that. I'm glad you're still able to watch, though. You know, I thank you for watching. We do appreciate that you're a fan. But I'm calling, but I'm calling to have Dude, an argument. Honestly, so. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, look, guys, it was fucking awesome debating with you guys. I just want you to know, like, I Joe Rogan's a joke. I take the center all the way. I'm George Orwell all the way, and so I don't really have a side. And I I liked you better when you were in the center, but I, I still love you, dude. Can I ask, was you know, I, I you that's, know Jordan that's, Peterson that's was even going at me on Twitter, and I even said specifically, "Do you support conversion therapy? Yes or no?" And he did not take the opportunity to correct the record. I don't think it's a good time. Well, he's a he's a coward. Okay. Well, there we he's agree. A coward. There we agree. Yeah. Maybe if I yeah. said he's pro conversion therapy, that was assuming too much. Uh, but I don't think it's a far stretch to say, you know, he's not against conversion therapy, right? Uh, if he's calling it moral grandstanding, I think that implies that he thinks it's it has some value, right? I don't think it's a stretch to I say think, that. I think. I honestly, I want to concede and give it to you. I may not even one hundred percent agree, but. Dude, you make a good point. I was just trying to show you, just watch out for, for the hypocritical lane, you know? That's all I would say, as a fan. Well, I've never as said that I'm pro-conversion uh, therapy. And a hater. And a hater. <laughs> no, I'm talking about your tactics and versus what you chirp, what you and Hassan... To you know, be honest I with you, I... Like, okay. You know, but right. it's like you're doing the same thing, brother. I don't think bit, so, you know? but I appreciate That's... the call-in. Okay. Everything I say, I 100% okay. believe. And including this statement. And that's why I still respect you. And including you. this statement, John. That's why. I, I love you. Aw. Thank you, brother. Thank you, dude. That was awesome. You, you guys have a great one. All right. Thanks for calling. Take care. Thanks, John. I don't see it. Well, so I, I do remember you harping on the fact that you kept saying Jordan Peterson is pro-conversion therapy. Right. Uh, okay. So, but, but I don't think that's a, like, it's a stretch. It's maybe a stretch. But it's based not that it. much of a stretch. Right. He clearly sees value in it if he thinks banning it is moral grandstanding. Right. Or that, you know, I mean, it's, or, yeah, that it's not valuable to take action he, on it. He doesn't Again, I feel think like it's the harmful. argument is, is totally different if he's just doing one of those useless politician tweets where it's just like, we need to do this. And it's just kind of like, I think you're promises. right. That's a great point. But in point. this case, he's, he, he's done something about it. You can't call that grandstanding. I mean, that, that, that's, that's a concrete action that's been taken. That's, this is the thing that I've noticed on the right. Anytime you care about anything, God forbid, Social, like social issues specifically, mm -hmm. it's moral grandstanding. You can't care about anything without more without being a moral grandstander. Yeah. You have to be a passive, uh, a, cons a reactionary to never moral grandstand. You have to be passively watch as people get uh, systematically discriminated against. That's what good citizens do. Coconuts and Barbados. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was fun though, yeah, and I, I don't want to discourage uh, other people from calling in like that because, um, you know, I think uh, there's some people here, but I can't say I'm terribly excited to have this conversation. Someone wants to push back on Ethan fat shaming. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I am, uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Fat shaming wants to. I guess maybe I should take it. Uh, wants to argue with Ethan being too hard on Demi Lovato. I I don't care. <laughs> I left that yogurt store yeah, she, and didn't I mean, get she, the yogurt that I She's wanted. still recovering from the yogurt shop. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk to our, uh, Adriana, who wants to talk about, uh, she, I have a problem with fat shaming. Adriana, what's, what's my problem? Talk to me. 
Uh, Ethan, I've been a fan for a while. I actually came from Trish and started watching you guys. Thank you. Um, I've been struggling with like my own body image for a while, so I guess just. I don't know. Maybe I'm a snowflake, especially after listening to the last conversation. I was like, hmm, maybe no, no, it's not even close to what I should be I debating. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I don't know, you verbally, like, frown upon it, I think. And I think there's a lot of, like, young viewers, especially, hey. like, people that are developing into their bodies. So I think it's just important to be aware of that stuff. Are you, who, who do am I fat shaming, myself or someone else? Uh, I like even even you. I think uh, to normalize like putting your own body image down is not necessarily the best thing either. So wait, wait, wait. Who am I fat shaming? Yourself. Okay, so you're talking about my my no deprecation. open deprecation of myself for being fat is not healthy for people to see. I think I think to an extent, yes. Um, I think it's nice to be like. Listen. I don't know to, I guess, say Listen. your struggles, but to constantly, no, I don't think so. So what would you like? So, so, so should I, I need to be nicer to my, I just need to not acknowledge that I'm a fat fucking lard ass. <laughs> no, I just, I just think it's important to take it into consideration. Um, that's all. I just, just coming from like being an older sister and stuff, like my little sister watches you and I don't know, just figured i'd reach out and say that so do you think so you I think, love watching the mukbangs though don't stop those shits oh shit see you're trying to be a feeder you're trying to make me plump <laughs> Money, ethan. hey nourished nourished ethan oh girl don't fool yourself there ain't no nourishment at our weight <laughs> eating 10 also, pounds of jolly also, i think zach chicken. is slightly um underappreciated so that's oh wow well, thank you very much like. but you feel underappreciated I don't feel underappreciated. I feel like, yeah. I'm having crazy deja vu. I feel like we've had It kind of made me sad when uh, Zach wasn't, like, able to play the video games with the rest of you guys. Definitely definitely hurt my heart a little oh, bit. Oh, Zach is underappreciated. <laughs> oh, but that's his choice. Yeah. We, we, would, we yeah. would happily have Zach. I know, included. I know, I know. No. He's just, he's not, a, he's not a freaking epic gamer like the rest of us. I would say, Adriana, I love that you're a fan, but you may be a little sensitive for the show. <laughs> You know, but I, know. But, but I hope, I, hey, I, you know, I no I offense. It uh, it's okay. It's okay to be fat. I mean, I listen, but you can't stop me from hating myself. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's just never going to happen. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm not going to make okay. fun I of, my... I'll try not to fat shame others, but you can never stop me from fat shaming myself. Okay. All right. I love you, Ethan. Thank I you love so much. you guys. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks, Adrian. Right. Love Thank you, you too. Take care. Bye. Love you. You're the greatest that ever did it. Okay, fun. Good times, eh? Good times. Should I talk to the girl who thinks I've been too hard on Demi Lovato? <laughs> Be interesting. I kind of just intrigued. This is just off the wall. Sasha, oh are you a Demi Lovato fan? Dude, I thought you were just going to end the show on me. No, nope, I'm no, here I'm for not you. A de Go ahead. I'm here for you. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not a fan. Um it bugs me because you've been you've been telling the story wrong, and so it makes me wonder: Would you not make the jokes if you knew the correct story? Okay. Right. Okay. So, I swear you sound then, exactly like Demi Lovato. Is this Demi Lovato? Is this Demi? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, <laughs> your Yo, voice sounds just she like her. Does Demi? Are you calling in? All right, tell me the tell me no. the correct story, Demi. <laughs> no, but who I'm knows flattered. it better than you? Um. Okay, so um, it's funny because you were just talking about fat shaming, right? So Demi was just like she was uh, annoyed that all of the diet stuff was at the front of the store. And so she left because she's like she's been fat shamed her entire life. Is like, diet food fat shaming now? Food. Is having diet food? Yeah. Well, also, I don't think that's it was exactly diet food. I think it was like for diabetics. It was like sugar-free shit. The, the place right, it. but she did not realize that. That's why she made the apology. Okay, she didn't, wait, wait, she wait, wait. She was Sasha, quite stoned. Sasha, hold on. I really gotta, I gotta break something down. It's Sasha. Here. It's what? Sasha. Sasha. <laughs> Emphasis on the A. Yes. Wait, you have <laughs> Sa Sasha. <laughs> Sasha. Right, Sasha. 
Okay. All right. All right. Sasha, Sasha. Forgive oh me. God, forgive you me. Said I love you. <laughs> All right. Wait. So, so you're so, okay. No, I understood the story, but I think we're seeing it differently. Having diet food is fat shaming. Well, kind of. I mean, she was just talking about diet culture, you know, it's, it's fucking everywhere. And like, we're both heavy, me and you. And it can get annoying if you're female, if you've been fat shamed your entire life, like since like how I was is 10, having diet food, you know, how is having diet food fat shaming you? I just I can't I well, can't understand that. It? First of all, again, she didn't realize it was a diabetic thing. So OK, forget like, about that. Let's just assume it's diet okay. food. Right. So here's the second end of my argument. She is newly sober or was when she made the post. Right. I'm newly sober, too. You know, I'm going on, like, seven years, hard stuff. And for the first, like, five years, I purposely gained weight. I said I'm not going to think about anything other than, like, being happy. And okay. so I feel like, you know, we were on the same level. And so I got it. I just understood why she made it. It's just a stupid, what, 10-second post, right? No, she but the effect would, of know, her post was that she, she, like, called this place out by name and sent like a mob of hate because they dared to have diet food. That's, that's crazy. I, how is having diet food okay, fat shaming? Okay. You still haven't explained that. It's a product I, that some I people consume. That. Maybe she didn't. She can Maybe go she fucking get the normal shit. Just walk by it. I mean, if you're going to get offended yeah. by <laughs> diet food, how can you exist in this world? How can you even breathe without being offended by the sunshine because you're pale? I don't understand that. How can you live your life being offended by diet food? That seems to take shit way too far. I think she was just, okay, she shouldn't have called them out. I don't care about I her. Now like I'm asking you. a little hard on her considering... You know, you could maybe understand was saying, you know, hey, like, can we just chill it with the diet bullshit, you know? Well, I, was, I think people were mostly pissed at how she, like, sent a horde of hate on this tiny little well, mom and pop store. You guys certainly are. That's, no, that's I think that true. was the I reaction on the Internet. Sasha, I mean, it's Sasha. LA. She's probably over it. <laughs> so do you get offended when you see diet food in the store? I don't know. I don't really get offended, but if it's everywhere I look, if I'm having a bad day and it seems like it's everywhere I look, I might, you know, I might, I don't know, say something. I would probably do a Facebook post about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you probably would too. Oh, hell no, I wouldn't. You really think so? Uh, <laughs> look at this fucking diet well, food thank everywhere. thank you for taking my call. At least we had it out. Okay, this is interesting, but... I feel like we could dig into the psychology of this whole diet food aversion thing a little bit more if you want to. Thank you. Okay. I feel like it's it's a discussion to be had. Do you, you want to discuss? Uh, 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 it, let's let's um, let's ham it out. I don't know. Okay, so uh, so as yeah. a fa as a fellow fatty, <laughs> I feel like. Get miss if you get angry at seeing diet food, you're misplacing the frustration and anger you have with yourself for being fat. Well, you would say with my mother because that's who I could really get mad at because she she would have me like suck in my stomach. Uh, you well, know, that that's gross. At, like twelve years old. Yeah, it's really. I'm telling you. But I sound like your mom. You don't know what it's like for some people. No, like, told, I, I, like, I I I get it, man. Yeah. But like, don't you think like. If you if you're outwardly angry at the world for having diet food, I wouldn't say I'm outwardly angry, but you know we're like, like I said, I would probably make a Facebook post about it. I'm also angry at like coffee companies, or not companies, but like, you know, drinking coffee with your children. Like, are you angry at yourself at all though? For me. Do you have, are you I'm ang angry at so many things, Ethan? At so yourself? Many things. Um. Yeah. On occasion, sure. Right, because I'm frustrated with myself. I, I, I always feel like weak or unable to, because I really want to lose weight, but I feel like I'm just incapable. I just, I just had lack the willpower. Or I just, I don't know. I'm all constantly frustrated. But it seems to me if you're, if you're going to be getting mad at seeing diet food, it's probably a manifestation of your disappointment or anger at yourself for not having the, you know, the control or whatever. 
to not to. Yeah, I don't know. You know. I, I have pretty good uh, control. Like, I, I just lost like 20 pounds. Like, okay, good for you. Um, it, but it was never really an issue for me. It was a childhood thing, you know. I got chubby at an early age, and then it just sticks to you. You mm-hmm, know, you're a mm-hmm. little bit different. I'm but, different um, kind of fatty. Yeah. I'm the kind of fatty, but so I, I, I wait. Let me break that down. Ethan, I think you're so much cuter at this weight. Can I just really? say, as a chick? I think you're so much cuter than, like, pictures I see of you. Okay, okay. but I, you know what? I like uh, okay. Sasha. <laughs> Sasha. I like Sasha. <laughs> she's a good, she's my favorite caller yet. My friends call me Slash. Slash? Hell yeah. Slash, yeah. So Slash says yeah, that no, I'm, I'm different because I got you know? fat. Right. Slash is, she was fat from birth. So I'm on the, it sounds like I'm a, like, a more pathetic fatty. Than her because I chose to be fat. <laughs> you did it by choice. Yeah, That's fat it. by choice. You You're... might have like a medication thing. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we've talked about the whole weight thing with the, yeah. Yeah, I do have I'm a medication not sure, thing. But okay, I well, you know as what? As you're healthy, you don't have to worry. You know what, Slash? I'm going to make a movement here today. No more diet food. Fuck the diabetes, <laughs> too. Fuck them. They <laughs> should have their own stores. Stream. They should have their own store so we don't have to see their shit ass diet food. Yeah. Change All right, Slash, you take care. Yeah. Thanks for saying I'm cute. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for calling okay. in. All right, bye. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. I cannot defend. When she Demi. when she said that she thinks you look cute at this uh, size, everybody started spamming the Ela cop emoji <laughs> yeah, in the chat. Yo, she did sound just like Demi Lovato. That's I swear. crazy. I That's swear, crazy. as soon as she started talking, I was like, because he had just played the uh, the Demi clip, so I had, had it in my mind. Yeah, no, you're like. so right. You know, um, I can't defend the yogurt antics. I can't. Yeah, I, I mean, didn't I, get yogurt, and I just I ruined my whole week. <laughs> my wife went out for p- yogurt without me. <laughs> I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, All that right. was fun. Uh, we have been going for two and a half hours. Yeah, let's call it a day. Okay. Kim starts fighting with people on our subreddit. We can save that for next week. We'll save all the good stuff for next week. Yo. Snoop Dogg Snoop Dog joins FaZe Clan yes, board sir. of directors. Let's go. So He's now he's involved. FaZe Snoop. It's, it's a, that's a real thing. FaZe Snoop? Yeah. He is a pro gamer. I mean, I've seen he, you know, pro gamer moved to leave your <laughs> dream on for quit. 24 hours. Fuck. Oh, you're talking about that one. That's yeah, right. Oh, yeah. he has a bunch. Yeah, no, he's a pro gamer. Man. He's definitely fake. I was thinking of the one where he rage quits and fucking throws his controller and shit. Of course. They oh, added yeah. that clip in his reveal video. It, oh, they so, use that? Yeah, they're kind yeah. of self-aware. Yeah, they have to make fun of it. Yeah. Oh, boy. You know, somebody... Didn't they, There was a clip... On the sub of Keemstar seemingly admitting that he is a part owner of FaZe. Show me. Did you guys pick up on that? Yeah, I saw that. Very, very surprised. Man, that that dude don't own sh- If he owns, yeah, it's I mean, got to it be, be lying. tiny. But I, I thought it was interesting because that's been a topic of discussion on here. A few we'll pull it up. Whether or not he... It, I, I saw it over the weekend. It just, just hit me. And, yeah. Uh, I had seen that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, you got it? All right. A.B. My Let's man. see. Kim and Mitzi co-owns FaZe. Let's see. He's so desperate for the recognition, though. He's always wearing FaZe everything. If he really had any interest, they would name him in, like, the press and stuff. Right. I mean, it is. And they're about to. They're trying to go public, right? Or, like, yeah. all that would have to be disclosed. I'll put a million dollars on it. As a co-owner of FaZe, no one is going to f*** with you ever again, you pieces of sh- Wait, what? He, there's missing content. Yeah, uh... Hmm. I'll, I'll put a million dollars on it. As a co-owner of FaZe, no one is going to- He's referencing something else. I'm not He's sure what's He's referencing the, the fight over the weekend. There was a FaZe member, FaZe Temper, who fought some dude, and he lost to- Or Keemstar thinks it's rigged. Or a, a lot of people actually do. Most people do, and I guess that the fight about was that. rigged. Yeah, oh. and I think it's like a general 
Like what? most people think it was rigged. I so. haven't seen it, but I really don't think people are rigging these fucking fights. At the very least, a bad decision on the judges. For sure, a lot of yeah. people are saying that. I'm seeing. Maybe are boxing. Uh, I didn't expert wa- nowadays. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it personally, but I'm seeing my whole timeline on all spectrums of the internet are saying uh, so, so calling it out for being yeah. rigged. What was mm-hmm. this fight that happened over the weekend? I, I missed the context. It was like it was Dead, Dead G? G versus Wasabi. Um, in the UK, that was the headline fight. Oh, so it was just a deji fight. Yeah, yeah. which apparently he lost again. I know. He's I like said. zero and three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like deji, you know. I know. It's, I, it's just, but it's sad. It's yeah. just getting sad. Yeah. At this like, point, dude, maybe maybe he's just not cut he out. He has a whole losing cycle where he loses. <laughs> he cries. KSI like says the meanest shit you can imagine about him in public. Then he fights again. Same thing over. This is a third time. I can't believe he's still in for the humiliation. Did KSI shit on him yet? I I don't know. But I do know that he had a song called No More L's. Mm, one more L. One more L. That should have been the name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's rough. Somebody just donated $20 and said, sending good vibes to Lena and then the AB thumbs up emoji. Hmm. So, Lena, are you there? Why, does Le- Why are they worried about Lena or something? I, yeah, think, I, I think everybody's worried because of the uh, the conversation last week. Yeah, we, uh, she has an appointment on Friday, so... Okay. Oh, yeah, fuck, I'm such... It's on Friday. We'll know okay. that. We'll know soon. Yeah. On the plus side, uh, if people didn't pick up on it, um, Cam, and therefore also Love, uh, they're back today, back we're in the back, office. Maybe. We're back, Cam boys. is fully recovered. Yep. We still have him wearing a mask, just to be sure, but um, he hasn't had a symptom in over a week. He's feeling fine, so uh, we, got a, we got the whole fam back in, back in the building, except for Olivia, but... And Cam Somebody. has a mic now. Cameron has a mic? He has a mic. We set up, yeah, mics for uh, all Does the... Does he have a cam? S- no. Not yet. We're capped out on the number of cameras we can uh, we can add. But Sam, Cam, and Lena all have mics out there now. So <clears throat> if they ever need to chime in. Here, let's watch this. Mark my words, show star. Mark my fucking words. Me, no American, nobody in FaZe Clan... No one will ever work with you ever again. Mark my fucking words. Nobody cares what you have to say. I'll put a million dollars on it. As a co-owner of FaZe, no (laughs) one is going to fuck with you ever again. Oh, oh, like, like he has some influence. I'm the co- He, with that context, it does appear to be that he's saying as a co-owner of FaZe, no one will ever fuck with you ever again. I'd like for him to disclose his ownership of FaZe. Looks like he's shooting that video in hell. Yeah. Okay, bitch. <laughs> well, it's his basement, so. Close enough. Not far you off. pieces of shit. <laughs> mark my words, show star. Mark my fucking words. Me, no American, nobody in face clan. Murder. No one will. <laughs> murder. Act- murder. But no is, American. Is this weird? He's never mentioned that before, and then now all of a sudden, it's, as a member, as a co-owner of Face Clan, no, I'll make sure with my incredible influence that nobody ever works with you again. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I get the feeling that he wouldn't lie about something like that, though. So but why is he now just throwing that out there? I feel like he would have said it every second. Right. Maybe he bought himself in when he knew it was going to come become public or something. Man, they wouldn't take his money. He, you know, they've had a pretty long-lasting relationship ever since they started. So I think, I mean, it's very possible. I mean, is it just that he didn't disclose it because he didn't want to appear... Bias when like rep- you know he was always reporting on the All phase, phase member, guys. like yeah. antics on drama alert. Not that he cares about journalistic integrity or anything, but I don't know. Maybe that would be a reason. Could be, yeah. Ever work with you ever again? Mark my fucking. Sometimes I just look at Keemstar tweets and see. Oh yeah, here rigged. You are twenty years old and still a virgin. You are forty and date women two times younger than you. I think he got you, bro. He's arguing with people saying he's 40 and dating. Fluent. Yep. I think that's a dub. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, let's not. Oh, interesting. So, uh, donation. Even though me and Keem share a birthday, it's always nice to know his birthday is on International <laughs> Women's Day. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful touch of irony. Yeah. Put me between your legs. Cameron Grant, member for 20 months. Why am I still paying for my membership? Wait, for real? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, bro. That's so meaningful. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. That's fucking epic. Man, I have so many repeating membership things by now. I, I'm, I can't even imagine how much I'm paying that I don't even remember that I'm paying. You know? Oh, just for like various services? And yeah. should audit that. You're probably right. I don't even know how to audit it. Cause... <laughs> just look through your like banking statement and see if there's no, like, weird ones. No, it's insane because it's all like on business. Oh, okay. And the, oh, right. just, so like the invoices are crazy. I got you. I can ask our accountant to be like, yo, can you spot all the... Maybe that'd be a fun segment where I bring all the repeating subscriptions <laughs> that I don't like use. Subscriptions for some service from like 10 years ago that you've been paying for. I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I just realized I'm a 20 month as well. You are? Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, AB, I'm uh, so touched. Mm -hmm. Was that, that must have been when we like really launched it officially and started pushing it. But you were working here already, weren't you? No, I worked right after. Oh, you subbed. Oh, yeah, I'm also 20 months. Oh, my goodness. Dan, what month are you? What month, Dan? <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. Which month are you? <laughs> are you 19? I don't think I don't think I'm a paying member. Coconuts and Barbados. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I'm actually subscribed to on three accounts. I just noticed. Maybe well, I am actually. Let me weird. let me check. I, maybe I subscribed and forgot. I might be an example. You of might a, be one of them. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I think Dan has that 20 month Jeff Witte is a membership. Oh. Well, how many months? Here it is. Uh, how do you see that actually? Um. A Street Podcast, five dollars a month. Manage. Uh, Just a quick note, Ethan. I'm one. Now, is that on the business card? Uh, am I paying myself there, Dan? <laughs> oh, that would be funny. <laughs> it's gotta be Hold that. On, I'm, let me check. What's Zach? I am one year, two months, and no, nine this, days. it's on. Oh, my Zach. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It's on my personal. Wait, wow. <laughs> Dan is the verdict right it is. now. I'm, I'm sending one of those messages right now. It is... Dan is sending his message. 12 months! 12 months, wow. baby. Wow, what a team. Ian, what month are you? Ian? I don't know. I'd have to look. I am subscribed to you. You are? I can't believe all you So here's the thing. That's crazy. Here's the thing. To access the member content to like check the comments and everything you can only see it if you're a member so i i believe that oh, you, all that signed you up. should put it on the business card yeah that's actually a good point yeah. i might change that over <laughs> i'm actually surprised you guys are actually subscribed that's funny yeah if you're doing it for work put it on the business card look at all these people doing it now wow. another 20 months flex rubber thank chicken you. that is a flex thank, thank you, you thank to you. all the members you guys actually make a huge difference so really do really appreciate that yeah it makes makes a huge huge difference 16 months, 3 months, 12 months. 19. There's a 19, a 6. Say the name down. It's going to help. So, oh, uh, <laughs> Kirsten Landry, Raven M. And don't forget, not only should you sign up for a membership, but you should like, subscribe, hit that bell, wow. and share this video. Uh, oh, I want to start a new thing. If you screenshot you liking the video, I'll like it from the podcast account. Just tag us. Very cool. Oh, shit. Wow. What if they man, unlike man, it afterwards? That like uh, I'll manually go back and unlike your post if I see that. <laughs> I'll come to your house as a go. Yo, these are coming yo, yo, heavy it, now. Look at this. <laughs> this is insane. But these aren't new subs. These are just people. No, saying. these are our long-term members. Yeah, long-time members that. showing what's up. That's one of the perks of being a member is once a month you can send like a super chat kind of thing for free. Dude, that's crazy. Whoa. Shout out to the longtime members. I've never seen it go this far. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that seems like the... Holy crap. It started 20 months ago. That was when you could sign up. So Jesus, y'all. There are some people You're that have been even older because it was actually enabled on our um, account for a good like year prior to us actually like encouraging people that's true so there's it was a select, open for years there's like a very select there was few like people 20 people that were just yeah. members I, I actually think our one of our mod mega awesome nerd is like a super long member oh is he he's longer than 20 yeah king yeah king i shit. think so yeah i see 20 months what's the longest we've seen 20 is the longest I've seen so far because I think that's when we. That's the it was man, y'all are like great. Really look, I'm, these numbers are big. It's all like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, twenty. Man, dude, this is insane. Fooper troopers, we are coming in waves. We are coming. Big connect. Damn, this is crazy, bro. Shout out. 
And thank you guys for all the love on the behind the scenes. Uh, it really does mean a lot. You guys encourage me to keep putting them out, and we're happy to do it. Hell yeah. Um, there's actually someone who has beef with you, AB. Lorena uh, has uh, some, some oh, <laughs> something oh, to tell you, AB. We got to do this. I'm looking at the caption. Oh, God. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. Can you hear? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Talk to AB. Tell him what's your problem. So my name's Laura. I've got with AB. Um, you said he really likes that some looks like a total shit hole, and uh, that was filmed. Most of it was also right outside in Scotland. Is it breaking oh, up? Yeah, she's saying that I was saying that Gotham looks like a shithole, but it was shot near her home in Scotland. Yeah. I wasn't saying that. Listen, it's a movie. I'm talking about the way they portrayed it in the movie. I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like that in real life. I'm not talking about. I know the meme online of like Batman looking over the city. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like uh, all the thugs and everything. Lorena, do you buy his explanation? No, not really. It's really no. um, representative of what Glasgow looks like. So. She doesn't buy it. Man, you called her neighborhood I mean, a shithole. I mean, I don't that's know what just to say. I'm crazy. Sorry, sorry. sorry. It's fucking it really rude. looks like that. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm from Detroit, so <laughs> that's true. Of, um, AB is from there. Detroit. There's yeah, really no bigger shitholes yeah. in the world than that. <laughs> yeah, she's from from Glasgow. She said. Yeah, yeah it's from uh, Glasgow. So also, there's a pretty mm. um, good video of the stunt rider. They're riding round. Uh, it's like a graveyard, but it's called the Glasgow Necropolis. So he takes a wee spell. So you might enjoy that video. Well, I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm sure you have a very beautiful home. That That's being okay. said... I've just actually moved to Connecticut because Glasgow is a shithole, so I live in Connecticut. Oh, <laughs> See, got I was holding back, but, but I have heard so many Scottish people say that Glasgow... Is a shithole. So well, you should go to Detroit and, and, and see which one's worse. Yeah. I think AB makes a good point. Yeah. Detroit is like the gutter of America. Pretty Detroit much. is the Glasgow of America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say. My cousin Tim could show you around. He's a great <laughs> cousin, <tour> guy. Yeah. <laughs> Lorena, thank you so much for the call. Uh, wow. Uh, beautiful. And welcome to America. And good luck to AB in the boxing match. I'm rooting for you. And uh, I'm rooting for Nathan as well. He's a friend of mine. So rooting for Nathan. No, oh, thank you so much. Legend. Uh, Nathan and A.B. Shout outs. Nice. Shout outs from Lorena. Wow, we got the best fans, don't we, folks? Well, guys, smash and subscribe, otherwise I'll come to your house. Smash and subscribe. You know, it's a joke. I should start making, like, threats like that to, like, prominent politicians and stuff. <laughs> it's just a joke. What don't you understand? I drive by, like, a senator's house and take pictures and videos. It's a joke. Hey, Senator, I know where you live. I got all the information I need. Hey, Secret Service, it's a joke. You guys think it's a joke? I don't get the, I don't get the problem. He got offended. How's that my fault? All right, I guess this is it, eh? We had too much fun today. Way too much fun for one day. Well, guys, we'll be back on Wednesday. You know where, you know where we're going now? What does that mean? What weapon are you guys using? Tell me about your characters. I've switched to uh, the Moonlight Katana. Oh, I heard that one's good. I but you know, I'm yet. currently doing the quest. I, I looked it up. I'm doing the long quest line to get the Moonlight Greatsword. And that's going mm. to be my shit. You remember that from... That's like a recurrent... Oh, the Moonlight... Yeah, the the, of course. The Moonlight Greatsword, yeah. yeah. I have the Katana you start with, but it's like level 12. The Ichi Katana? Yeah. That weapon's so good. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's hard to replace it. It's just so good. Yeah. What are you using, love? Uh, right now, I don't really know because I respect to be able to farm souls more efficient, efficiently. Then I'm going to respect back to my original build, Jesus, but with serious. more souls. Yeah. Serious business. Power leveling to the max here. You, I noticed you left out what you respect too, love. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously I wouldn't play a mage normally because that's some pussy shit. Thank you. But... but I did do it for efficiency, because it's very efficient. So yeah. you're doing amazing. But he's, yeah, he admits that it's better. It's more efficient. 
Dude, gotta, I'm telling you, I have the worst build in the game. I don't know if I can do it. I, I, I gotta. I actually think, from a design standpoint, they've in this one made it sort of mandatory to at least use some magic, which never was a thing in these games. Not but me. I, I haven't agree. used any magic. Yeah. Well, okay, mandatory is the wrong word, but like highly encouraged. Like not me, baby. Builds. Well, I mean that's fine, but. I mean, it's you just broken. You notice that how many weapons require? No, every sort of fucking good or, weapon I get has some faith. It seems like they it's, purposely wanted people to yeah, walk around. Yeah, I agree, a and I'm refusing. Magic. Okay, well, fair enough. It's like cool. I was like, badass boss weapon, can't use it. Cool ass chest dungeon weapon, can't use it. I'll just Dump use a this. In there. I'm just gonna use a big fucking club made of a tree stump. Ethan, you gotta use That's that my big, weapon. big red thing I got yesterday. Did you see that that I sent in the group chat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's the biggest sword in the game, or the biggest mace in the game, I think. I mean, Actually, you know what I got from uh, the one of the bosses in the city capital? Oh, nice. Is he drops a, a colossal weapon that has. Lightning damage, mm -hmm. but it only requires dex and strength. So I okay. think I found my weapon. Wow, okay. mm, it's good. It's like a dragon claw. You got that? Did you say? No, I said it's like it's made for you. Just for made me. For yeah. I knew there had to be a weapon up there. <laughs> They're like, we would like you to have a more nuanced approach to this game. Put points all over the board. Or you can use a fucking tree stump to hit things with. <laughs> and I said tree stump, please. That is definitely Ethan's style right there. Give me the tree stump. <laughs> is this... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost. What? What is this? Yeah. Lord it's uh, <laughs> Elden, Elden Ring stuff. Uh, what? I, yeah. I've been enjoying playing with myself, but I think we're talking about... What level are you? <sighs> level five, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's good pretty one. good. Good one, dude. That's good. That was good. Sick. Whoa, dollar, one hundred dollar donation done. Hello, I've been watching your guys since the Pepsi saves the world video. You have helped me through so much. I lost my mother this summer to unaliving herself. Wow. Mm -hmm. And your podcasts were the only thing that helped me laugh and smile. Peach, peach in love. Well, Zoe, that's just horrible and tragic. I'm so sorry that that happened. Peach in love to you. Much peach in love. All the peaches. And all the love. And I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that we're out here and able to to make a make a make a laughs. Zach, you've been playing Elden Ring? No. That's what Cam said. What'd you say, Cam? I can't hear you. You have a mic. Oh wait, hold on, let me meet him. Go, Cam. Oh. oh check out the image I dropped with it too. <laughs> wait. <laughs> This is what Zach's been the PlayStation 2 one? I don't <laughs> no, get it. It's some scuffed game. He picked up the wrong game. Oh. You heard all of us talking about Elden Ring so much. Eternal Ring. Yeah. You, mm. play, you got the wrong the game, PlayStation Zach. Two. <laughs> Looks like some Highlander shit, dude. Looks cool. Yeah. The game, the Elden Ring is kind of uh, Highlander the game. You could actually say that it's heavily inspired by the same uh, mythos. Mm. So, I fucking love Highlander. I know you do. So maybe you should get into it. I'm afraid I'm going to have to end up put, putting some stats into faith or intelligence or something. Though, just because, do it. Stop with the Because the, all, the fun the game, all the fun weapons, it's just annoying. I need a strength build. Just put a, dump a couple points into faith. I'm going to replay the game, New Game Plus, and respect and go all magic. But the first playthrough needs to be pure. Okay. It's fair. It's pure. You got to go farm some souls, dude. Well, I need to find that spot. I, yeah, bro. I get one million souls an hour. Yeah, you... <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I had 500,000 souls in my inventory yesterday. It is... It's that good. Yeah. Dude, you guys don't I understand how silly it, this is. Get to it. I'm literally... I'm spending my free time sitting there farming souls in a video game. Mm -hmm. I just put on a show or a YouTube yeah. video or something and just... It's just funny, though. Like, here we are on this... This... Miracle of life. Under the urge. Spiraling through space. That's right. And here I am in my basement, farming souls. <laughs> the like vastness of space and time. It's like all I did all weekend, just farming souls. What level are you? I'm at uh, 75. I think I'm like level 100. I don't know how I got that. That's wild. I went to the, like, uh, the really high level zone. And I just started killing shit, and like, there's like a big ass dragon that I killed, and there's a fort 
And I started getting levels like crazy. There you go. And the minor herb trees give a shitload of... You just gotta push forward. Oh, and the dragon on the bridge, I killed him. He gave 80,000 oh, yeah. souls. Whoa. That dragon Way. fucked me up. You can you you haven't beat him yet? No. What about you, love? Oh, uh, I've just been farming, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I, just, <laughs> I think you'll go back and one. I'm like, what? you have started something very dark inside me because I'm actually a gaming addict and I've been ever since I was a child. And I had stopped right after I stopped uh, like university or whatever it's called, and I started working and and I became like an adult. Um, one of our mods, Ray, said that uh, real gamers are Sims. Uh, just play The Sims, <laughs> and it's funny because this past weekend, or just yesterday specifically, I was playing Elden Ring all day, and I went and checked in on Allie, and she was playing The Sims. Dude, women get are addicted to Sims. She, I don't know what it is, but women grind The Sims like nothing. So here's the real kicker, though, is I, I in the afternoon, I come and check, and she's, uh, She's not actually playing the game, she's on some website downloading mods for The Sim because there's a whole universe of uh, mods for like different sets of clothes, different decorations for the house. Women love and Sims, man. And I go play... Genders do, gender norms do exist. Right. Women love Sims. <laughs> and I, I go and play Elden Ring for like four hours straight. And I go back into the office, and she's still she hasn't launched the game yet. She's still downloading mods. I'm like, are you ever actually gonna fucking play? And she's like, yeah, probably not. This person, Kristen, says she has nine thousand hours in Sims. Wow, Shut nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, that's just, yo. I've never played Sims. It just doesn't appeal to me. The whole, <laughs> the whole. I, remember, I played the original when it came out. Way fucking, you know, 1999. People or fuck the with fuck Sims it was. heavy. I, played, dude. I fucked around with it a yeah. little bit, but. uh but I have never really got hooked on it the way that some people do. I just wanted to woohoo in the game. Sorry? Woohoo. It's like they're slang for having sex. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They call it woohoo, huh? And you knew Woo that. Woohoo, yeah. Are you, so are you secretly, are you like a big Sims guy? No. What's the, what game have you played the most in your life, Zach? Uh, Batman Arkham, Arkham City. City. Yeah. Oh, that's a serious game. Yeah. Fucking love that game, dude. Sounds like Arkham City us. Right? Yeah, I think we're living in Arkham City. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll be back on Wednesday. Thank you, thank you. God bless America and the whole world. Okay, let's <laughs> yeah. not even limit it. Yeah, internationalists.